I've got to tell you guys this right now. This is the last one for a while. This is, this is, this is, I hate, listen to me. This game is negatively affecting my mental health. I, this is the last one for a while, okay? It makes us, it's only because so many people tune in. And like now, it's like we're doing cost analysis. It's like we're we're looking at the last time we played, we streamed once on Monday and once on Friday. We listen. Yik just makes us not want to stream. It makes me not want to get out of bed. It is so bad. It is killing me. This might be the last Yik stream for a little while. Forever. Not for, maybe not forever. But we need maybe to take not. we need to take a break from this game. Because I do my solo project. What if what if it, 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 it's me be be the only guy that streams <laughs> It's killing me. It's, it's killed me. Will we stream two brothers? No, we want to play a good game. God, please. Yeah, no, 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 no. Marquee Mom, 96. Do a Lisa stream. Lisa? I will do a Lisa. Lisa. I'll stream Lisa. Stream Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, I have AIDS. <laughs> Tenant gave me AIDS. Stream Lisa. <sighs> We're back. Even were we? Oh, this sucks so bad. Oh, we have to hunt for stuff. <laughs> I... Oh, you have to dodge the enemy. Oh. <laughs> I like that we can't even find fucking words to describe Yik. What in the goddamn? Finally, I'm gonna why I'm gonna yik. So hard. Why I I I I I. No, it's because they don't give you much heads to do anything with, man. They give you yik. I'm gonna yik. Oh. We aren't even getting enough time to like this, like. Hussies, I don't know actually. Where? Oh. Sir, can you get Hussy? He might come on. I think he's at his girlfriend's house, but. What? Me? How, how? Hussy, you know, that other guy we hang out with. I, I, I know, I know. Like, if he's at his girlfriend's house, I don't... I oh, don't I mean... Come. Oh, Hail whatever. Man, baby. Yeah, he's... I was... Wait, yeah, Hussy's at his girlfriend's house. We're playing Yik. I don't know, actually. Well, this music's actually good. Something weird's happening. He'll show up if he... If, if he Okay. Uh, you forgot how to do the. I forgot a lot of things. Look. <gasps> what is. What is the chat saying? What is the chat saying? It's. What the. What's going on here? Bazinga. Bazinga. Just say, like, yeah, what's the Whoa, 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 whoa. The soy versus... Ba See, the fans I love Yik. This is a double-edged sword. The fans love Yik. They can't oh, get yeah, enough... No, then we have to take a break. Absence makes the heart grow. Yeah, hard. everyone's gonna be like, yo, love it. where's Yik? Get, like, crazy numbers again. The kids are demanding. We can't stop playing Whatever. Yik. People say to me, yo, where's my friend Alex, Michael, Claudio, and uh, Vela? We're gonna fucking play, play Bug Snacks. We're playing Bug Snacks, yeah. Now, Bug Snacks is what the soul needs. Yeah, you are, sir. You're buying it with your Christmas money. You're not buying gifts for your girlfriend. You're buying Bug Snacks. Sir, you're buying. You're yeah. You're buy you buy her bug snacks for Christmas. Sorry, I'm not buying bug, bug snacks. I already got her Christmas gift. Was it bug snacks? No. Why? Why didn't you Why didn't you buy bug snacks for? She didn't believe me that bug snacks was real. <laughs> no one does. No I was, one. Like, driving in the car, and I'm like, so it's a bug. 
But also snacks. I'm just like saying that to myself while I was driving the car, like completely manic. With no prop whatsoever. Just like it's a bug, but it's also snacks. It's a bug that you can eat. A bug snacks. I like I don't, I don't believe that that's an actual game. And so I said to her, "No, it's real." She's like, "Are you gaslighting me again?" I don't like it when you trick me. I don't like I it like, when no, you make fun real. of me. I went on my phone and pulled up that Muppets-looking motherfucking game. Yeah, that's right. Well, lots of lots of people are not ready to accept like, yeah, that bug snacks is real. Okay, I'm slowing down time to get more photos. Fatal frame. Fatal frame two. Ah. Uh... Twenty dollars a piece. Ow. Ow. I'm not gonna. If I buy a twenty dollar game, I better make that money back with Twitch money. All right. Listen to me. Bug Snacks will pay for I'm itself. Not an intern. I'm not making. I'm not making much money. Bug Snacks will make its money back. Listen to me. You are underestimating the power of Bug Snacks. Sir, he he's, he doesn't even have words to defend himself. He knows that his life will improve with bug snacks. And the vape. This paid off. We didn't even pay for it. We didn't even pay for this. We made money off of this. You guys want us to play Kuzo ass video games? You buy them for us, right? Yeah, okay. I bought Heavy Raid, all right? So I, I, Paragon Deku, you keep so those bits down. coming and we'll consider it. I have a bad PC. Rocky can run bug snacks. Can I run bug snacks? Will I be able to get all those bugs on screen? I hear they've got like dead rising level bugs. If there's one game, I all right. So for Christmas, I want to uh, yeah. like, just one last year cash in on you know parents' Christmas gift. Yeah. I told my mom just to get me like yeah, get me a Cyberpunk. <laughs> Seventy dollars. You know what? I'll get my Christmas gift. Ouch. Cyberpunk on uh, old PS4. <laughs> uh, Deku, don't buy us bug snacks. <laughs> We're being ironic. <laughs> you do not, in fact, need to buy us bug buy snacks. No, I, I can't imagine us playing that from beginning to end. Matt Watson gave me some sage advice about uh, series. One offs will always get you a bunch of people. Yeah. You see, series, you see drop off. What do you do with series? Yeah. So you never, never, ever let it like think that you're bobbing. People drop off, or people miss a couple episodes, or whatever. Angie will be back. Don't worry, we got in Miami. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys liked Angie. She was a good guest. Oh, Mike. Oh, Alex is dead. I don't care that Alex is dead. I don't care. Well, listen. He died in that school shooting. Eternal Genzo, thank you for the sub. We got a hype train. Hype train! Take it around. Toss us your money. Oh, it's Christmas. It. Give us some scratch. We're playing Yik. Christmas. Give us your Christmas bonus. Yeah. I know, that, I know that most of you are like 20. You don't have kids. Give us your Christmas bonus. You don't need to pay. Like you don't need to buy you don't gifts have for to people. Buy our kids toys. Give it to us so we can buy bug snacks. Bug snacks. Hopefully make the money back. <laughs> yeah. Deku. That, 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 that's cr it's crazy that I'm at like the mindset where it's like it, I'm thinking to myself it's like if I buy a game I better make this buddy back. You're in the hustler mindset. Always the hustler mindset. He's always after that after after that green. This is the year that I basically did the networking equivalent of like trading trading like a paperclip all the way up to trade for a house. <laughs> I like that you're just, you're the, pretty much the producer of this. You get things going. Oh shit! Go, go, boy, go! I got things going for this. I get things going for the show, and I also get things going for myself. It's great. <laughs> Post quarantine. Uh, this is not a bit. Uh, look, we have to look out for the Super Mega uh, Anime Serbia collab. Let's play episodes. Oh. Go. That is going to happen. Oh that's my not, god, you're going on their show? That's not me, mis not me misreading like things saying like, yeah, they're gonna have me on the show. It's like, no, I've, I was offered. Jeez, dude, that's a big get. Holy fuck, man. 
See, like you, you are a like a, a networking guy. I'm just happy having like weirdos on here. Like if me and Bailey can play New Vegas, I'm happy. You, you want to get the big movers and shakers, and I respect that. If, if I, if I, if I were like Cotter Gold, Lee may see it a gamer. Wait, really? No. Yeah, no, it's real. That that that's real. Hail that's to it, the king, it, it, baby. It, it, it's Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, if, 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 if I appear in a video, that could use it as a tax write-off. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh. Um. Bailey's coming on this Saturday, by the way. Uh. Since you asked, Yoshi. Um. We. Sh Felix is a very hard get, but we have such a great time with him. Cause he's a real busy dude. Uh. Early January, I've been talking. All right. You've been talking. Matt nice. Watson around Christmas time. Jackson's always down. Jackson's great, man. And he's, and, he, and he's getting more popular. Nice. Trick shot! Huh. I'm not even paying attention. I'm not gonna pay attention. You don't need to. Just talk to the chat. That's you you don't even need... Don't look at Yik. I will look at Yik for you. Just pretend we're not playing Yik. Oh, man. Who wants to pull out of a baby GM? Who wants to pull out of a subway stick? It's funny. It's like it's... I, I I have asked Femboy Fishing to come on twice. Did you get radio static? Uh, well, I, I guess he gets a lot of DMs. I don't think he probably opened them up. Uh, Drommels does know him though. Yeah. Seasonal fall. I heard the K Zone reference in the new pot about Liz Gun City thing. You did it? Oh man. Yeah, yeah. K Zone. What? mentioned on podcasts about Liz. What? No, seriously? Serb, tell me about this. Yeah, on the pre in the premium, um, they were doing their D&D campaign, and uh, Patrick's character said, oh, I have other plans, and DM said, oh, it Patrick Yoder, are you streaming with K-Zone again? <laughs> yeah, so we were mentioned on podcasts. Oh my god, we got a fucking shout out? That's I heard it in the car today, and I wanted to tweet about it. Uh... I just sort of didn't, but yeah, no, we were mentioned a podcast about Liz. I was mentioned on a po podcast about Liz, uh, but incorrectly attributed a tweet. And the actual person that was mentioned on that podcast about Liz episode was Fooly Cooley. Mm -hmm. Fooly was mentioned on Pal. <laughs> Fooly seems to get mentioned a lot. Well, he seems to get like vague at, but they mention us instead when they're angry at us. No one's ever gotten mad at me, and I'm probably the boy. I'm the mean, I'm the mean one out of the two. You are. You're the hot-blooded one on the K zone. We gotta keep you under. We gotta keep you under control. Once he once he gets his dander up, you can't control him. I'm not the dumb one. <laughs> Miss. Oh, that's an old bit. Sir, being dumb is an old bit. Jesus, I haven't thought about that in a long time. Um, oh, I don't, I'm not. I can't. I can't. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm just like not, not cultured. Boy, I wish the L's and the I's were more obvious. Should I? I don't know who these guys are. Should I listen to their podcast? Yeah. Podcast about listen very good. Podcast about listen is great. Early, com early, early calm town vibes. But they are. They they're not calm town though. They're very different than it. Very different than Sir it. Sir being dumb but was the it, beginning it, it, of his character arc. Interesting. Was it really? No, it 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 it, it, it on first glance, yeah, but then I sure showed that I was a bit more complex than that. He's a complex Pal guy. is its own thing, but it's it's on the way up. They're, they're only really gonna up. get more and more popular. They're doing crazy good right now. Keep those um, bits coming, baby. Some palps was feeling like bringing smooth a little bit. Listen, because they're just like talking about sucking off the Grinch's crap. <laughs> Serb is entering a new character arc. Character arc. Is this because I went to Ulta Beauty with my girlfriend? That's because Serb. Like, Serb is getting There's all it. sorts of things I can look at. There's all sorts of colors. There's. I love seeing the colors. Jesus. There's even a train that you can ride in. No, it's like, it, it, it's like, I was like, oh, I'll probably have a lot more fun being GameStop and like, 
looking at the games there. Serb's getting like, fragrance I'm not pilled. Unhappy. No. no, yeah, no. Things smell nice in there. It's like colorful. It's colorful and it's nice. Serb is hugging and kissing the like... bottles of perfume. Good for him. What's to stop him from hugging and kissing the bottles of perfume? What is he? But you have high functioning autism and a gay. That's what this game is. That's my that's my nationality. That's my not my nationality. My uh, ideology. My ideology is perfume nationalism. <laughs> that's really that's real original. Did you just come up with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of some kind of some kind of perfume nationalist. <laughs> It's not that it's original, I'm just... I'm just like, I, I, I just like sit in the car to myself, I just be driving and be like... Yeah, you know, I, I, I consider myself to be, you know, a bit of a... I just like list off a bunch of like, uh, uh, different like, conflicting ideologies and then just like... Suffix it. Perfume nationalist. The gamer nationalist. Like, you know, the... Yeah, that's stuff like that. Very mention of serve and a train, maybe choke on my drink. Why? Serve and train, the classic gag of serve and train. Not sure why either, serve. No, it's funny. My girlfriend, we went to an antique store and she lost me. Oh my she god. Found me finally, and I was looking at old Lionel model trains. You got lost. Which in my defense, they were well over a hundred years old. Oh no. Like, a hundred-year-old model trains is kind of neat. Like, anything that's that old, I'm going to, like, look at. If it's, like, a toy that's, like, over a year old and it's, like, still functional. Like, there's a lot of moving parts I'd imagine going to a fucking model train. Oh, Serb's trapped in the train? I've seen this before. What's wrong with all trains? Like, Absolutely nothing. Serb's in one of those little trains that ride around the mall, and, the, and he just got trapped on one of them. Just imagining Pumpkin chasing him. How is Rory level 30? Wait, what? Why is Rory level 38? He is? He is! He transitioned into a new level. To prove how useless he is, yeah. Rory is kind of useless. I think either artistic or Gomez Adams. <laughs> really into slot cars for a little bit. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I just like stopped. I just wanted to build like a diorama. I used to build like Lego City when I was a kid. Yeah. And kids would come over to my house and think it was like really fucked cool because i was like wow it's like a whole cool setup or whatever yeah and i wanted to like get back into diorama building like mm -hmm. it's a little bit of work one more thing now like you know like a nice little setup in my basement or whatever nothing never materialized oh so that's collection dust um, one of those hobbies that you pick up and you just nice never do anything with nice yeah i got i got the stuff i got like a like a stock car like nascar uh Hit for slot cars, and I just never did. He get did. banished. Up he did not get banished. Okay, I like that. Banished just doesn't fucking do anything. I think the most mad I've gotten recently was when I found out that I couldn't get beneath my own car because I couldn't fit underneath it because it was too low to the ground and I couldn't change my own oil. So I was just pissed that I had to spend $100. Because <laughs> I didn't own a car jack. Chat, the easiest thing you could ever do is to, there's two things. Yeah? That I recommend you learn to do. Change your own car's oil and change your own car's brake pads. Nice. They're not hard to learn. Serb's gonna give you a little bit, a little bit of the greaser advice. Changing your car's brake pads are, is very simplistic. I think anyone can learn it. Yeah. If you own a jack, though, you have to fucking own a jack. Gotta get yourself a jack. Well, the best, well, the, if, if you own a car and you commute often, you should invest in tools. Mm-hmm. 
it, it will pay it will pay out a lot more than paying a fucking mechanic to rip you off mm -hmm. park your front wheels on a curb yeah why's that park your front wheels on a curb yeah because it lifts it up oh yeah I'm not dumb. I, 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 just own, I just happen to own a jack because my, my dad does. So I don't really think about the outside the box. To, uh, I happen to own a jack. Yeah, when you don't have the resources. Listen, I'm a jack kind of guy. Do you own a curb? I own a curb. Serves a curb guy. It's just I have a jack, so I don't have to think outside the box like that. I'm not dumb. I just don't know how cars work. I don't trust it. All right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, We're going to go see Jill, who is way out of character in this. We know. Yes. I live in a rich enough neighborhood, though. All right. Here we go. I'm talking to Jill. Welcome back. Thanks for taking care of things at the loading dock. That doesn't even look like Jill. She's off model. All right, then. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Here, be careful yeah, with this. That's the the quote. Nerve killing tonic. Oh. Well. Oh, the drum. The drum. The drum one is uh, the. The one that needs the uh, drink. Yeah. Well, that took a while. She's on something. <laughs> Soulless Jill. They took her soul out. Oh, yeah. oh maybe yeah, this. Anyway, yeah, I'll go ahead. Learn how to do DIY stuff. I recommend. And this is the. This is the. This is the non-binary robot from that game where the uh, everyone on the staff was abused. So that aged well. Uh, yeah. Go. Also, everybody, if you have cable, just watch the DIY network. My dad literally learned how to do my entire bathroom just by watching TV. Wow. <laughs> because he doesn't, like, he has a Hank Hill mentality where he doesn't want to let anyone touch our house. <laughs> So he built a man cave by himself. I didn't want to let a contractor in. That's my man cave, son. You don't go in there. Valhalla is where that girl is from, Jill. But that is, is like he spent two years building the deck. But <laughs> my dad... The thing is with my dad is that he actually pulled off learning <laughs> how to DIY stuff. <laughs> I can so easily imagine someone like trying to learn DIY stuff. And oh then, god. Know, like, there, over, there's like... It'd be like, leg room! There's like people who, they kind of become like termites and they just have to destroy their house doing that shit. They're just... My uncle was like that. Yeah? My uncle single-handedly ruined the resale value of his house. Oh. Like, I could put a roof on this. And my cousin had his room for a month not have a roof. Oh, God. Yeah, so see? He had to sleep in a different room. There's just... And the house is still not finished. His marriage failed. Uh, and he's living in South Carolina now. The house is foreclosed. Oh, no. Just because he, he wanted to fix it up. He thought he could do it, and oh. like, the house is still unfinished. It uh, has been in the process of being built ever since I was in preschool. That man's I'm name? Grover. <laughs> it's it's pretty much the Grover house. The Grover house. <laughs> it, 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 the more I think about it, and the guy he earned his entire money by being a crooked cop. Oh. One time, like, I went over to my cousin's house. He's like, hey, check out my new uh, air hockey table. I got Christmas. I was like, wow, cool. I played a fifth for a little bit. A month later, I go over to my cousin's house, and it has, like, uh, sledgehammers, like, holes in it. He's like, yeah, but I got mad the other night and destroyed the air hockey table. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah, so this is, this is, that's, my dad, that's my dad's brother that didn't go to rehab. Well, then. I have a gallows sense of humor about it. Mm hmm Okay, so that's the wrong Vila. I'm trying to remember all this. Yeah, go to the upstairs. One. Yeah, the upstairs one, so. Rocky, do you have any crazy Australian uncles? Uh, no, not really. I don't have much of an extended family here. I do have extended family overseas in, in like, uh, America. But, um, like, I had an uncle who got it. He, he was, like, he has, like, a really addictive personality. 
and he got addicted to Pokemon. Instead of gambling, he just got addicted to buying Pokemon cards. And he lost thousands and thousands of dollars just buying fucking Pokemon cards. Because he wanted the shiny Charizard. He, pretty much. At what age? At the age where he had kids. Yeah. That's how it is. He just kept by he he got really into Pokemon. <laughs> Getting into Magic the Gathering at 15, Jesus, can you imagine? I, I always like it going back to like alcoholism and whatnot. I always like when someone actually makes it out of rehab. Yeah. Because a lot of that a lot of that's like it's never an easy process. Like do? most people, when they go to rehab, dudes rock. Like, Your uncle rocks. Yeah. But when someone finally like gets the wheels going, it's yeah, satisfying. It's great, man. Um, a lot of people don't make it out of that. I don't know, man. It's like I, I thought I was developing alcoholism at the start of the quarantine, but uh, because I was just, I just found my. Literally everybody. Everyone was doing it though. That's that was the thing. Like, it was all there was the day. It was, yeah, it was all there fucking, I thought, that it was like some Soviet Union type shit where it collapsed and everyone became a fucking alcoholic. If they closed down liquor shops, they would have so many people in the hospitals for rehab, so they had to keep them open. A lot of people were like, how come liquor stores are essential businesses? It's like, if they close, that's more people in the fucking hospital. Exactly. In rehab. Where the so. fuck is upstairs? A lot of other people... Every everyone everyone got fucked up in some way from this fucking quarantine. So yeah, me especially. You, luckily, Thank, not me. About to touch on that. Luckily, not me. <laughs> it, 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 uh, at least it's not going on any longer for you. No, still, uh, I I had I had a lot of time to think it. about shit, and I didn't like it. I'm gonna have a lot more time to think about shit because it's. Sure. What's how's it like? How's it like over there for you? Is it still where? Okay, so yeah. It's I live in suburbia, so I'm not a major city, so there's not major uh, what's it called uh, curfews or whatever. Right. We had them back when we didn't know how the disease worked. Yeah. Uh, people aren't living on top of each other, so it's like you know mass you know mass mandates. Traveling around the tri-state area is a bit, you know, uh, restricted. Yeah. But every, everything's okay upstate New York. Um, I just hope things don't get any worse, man. God damn, man. I, I fucking. I, I we we would joke about the wear a damn mask, people. I was still I'll still joke about uh COVID arrows and fucking supermarkets and shit. Oh, that shit but sucks. But seriously, but like. like that shit does suck. But seriously, wear a fucking mask. Like, really, it's not a big deal. Ugh. The only thing that really happened to me with quarantine was that I kind of got a bit fatter. Are you... I got... No, 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 no. I got skinnier during quarantine. You got... How? I got fatter during my first unemployment period, though. Yeah, that was... That's when you get fat. When you're not working. I imagine, given that you... Given that... For a little bit. Given that you do physical uh, labor, I imagine point. you're back in shape now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. Nice. My lungs are shot, uh, not shot from vaping, but I, uh... His lungs are shot more from being in the coal mines. <gasps> my back, my, I, 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 I got, I'm really defined back muscles and, like, thighs, but, like, I still have pretty weak wrists. You swing and, a sledgehammer, uh, though, right? Yeah. You know, don't don't fuck up your back, man. That's I know people who fucked up their backs. That's the only thing. I know I know proper lifting techniques. I took the ocean ten hours. Good stuff. As long as you're not fucking up your back. Go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna continue to be very socially active in the chat. That's good. Don't look at the game, sir. Nice. Don't look at the game. We're not playing Yik, a postmodern RPG. We're having a nice, friendly fireside chat. I don't know where I need to go. God damn. I need to go up, but I can't. Fucking god, everything about this is so obtuse. No, I think I remember where Nervous Drummer Vela is now. She's, she's, yeah. I think I remember. 
think I remember now. Because that wouldn't be postmodern enough. Now, yeah, I think I recall. Yeah, there she is. God damn it. Fucking finally. I feel. I still feel nervous. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna go do this anyway. I can do this. Finally. Yeah, this game did nearly break us. You're not wrong. And now, see, now there's drums in the soundtrack, which I think is a really cool detail. It is pronounced Y2K, which is the most pretentious thing ever. This would be a great concert if, if this, if for what we're putting into getting these people together. Hail to the king. We're gonna put on the biggest show in the world. We're still missing three of them. Jesus Christ. That's why I didn't really want to play. Well, uh, we're, we're, here. we're doing it. We're doing it well. We're here. We're here, we're here for you, gamers. Now, where's the other one? Ramp room has a door we haven't gone. Yeah, through. that's right, the ramp room. Oh, the girl on the piano. Yeah, but I don't know where the sh do I have? Hang on, I don't have the sheet music for her. Which is a bit of a problem. Game's got some doo doo faces. Yeah, I know doo doo feces. Yeah, when you give us bits or when you donate money, you're basically supporting the troops. You gotta understand, we're soldiers from Iraq. That was my favorite bio that you ever had, War Hero from Iraq. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's just a lowercase, War Hero. War Hero from Iraq. I have one. <laughs> yeah. I'm there. <laughs> I don't think anyone actually ever read that. I, I don't know. I, I thought it was very funny, just the concept of calling yourself a war hero from Iraq. This game is doo-doo. Doo-doo from an ass, but you know what? Alright, now how do I get- for each other. Well, you know what? How often, how often do you hear us actually be nice to each other? Well, uh, I- uh, What's wrong with being nice to my friend? See, uh, yeah, this is exactly. Yik is bringing us together. We're we're like, like normally, like a stream goes like this. Like I do something like dumb in a video game. Rocky's like, sir, you being a dumb bitch, idiot. Yeah. Uh, etc. It's true. Right now, let us let us actually let us actually develop this relationship. We're slowly learn. We're learning more about each other. Oh God! A bit more of the Mythbusters. <laughs> One of my favorite tweets I ever did was the the Las Vegas Mythbusters tweet. <laughs> the Las Vegas. Sh what's your favorite? What's your favorite tweet that I've ever done? Let's talk about our tweets. There was a lot of them. If I have, probably have a favorite tweet, like I can't think of it on top of my head, but I think it's. Pre blow up, I think you had something really fucking good, I think. Mm. I, th I think it's some of your ones that are like probably have like 73 likes. Yeah, it's the little ones that I like the most. There's a lot. There's a lot. I think when we were both making cl clipping jokes, it was really. The funny. clipping ones are. Oh god, those are so good. What's your favorite tweet I've done? Fuck, I'm trying to remember. It was. You have a lot of them, but they kind of blur together, they, but they make me laugh. The, the recent one is the the one you did against George Broussard, which I thought was fucking hysterical. The, so it says here you directed Someone Duke Nukem Forever? 
he was doing like no point out that he works on Duke Nukem forever, so it wasn't my revel. Like, like, you got the numbers on that. You got the fucking numbers on that. I was like, damn, you got his ass. Yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I found the format for that. I wrote that in a bar. No. I what it was at the bar. <laughs> That was good, man. It's a good. I knew that you had to add like theater viewer, just like we'll be at a resume. Yeah, and then you yeah, had. I have a lot of good quote beats. That's the thing. I, I function better at that form, but I don't like being too snarky. No. It's, it's, it makes me feel mean. When I... Oh, the parasite review is the best thing you've ever done. Yeah, by far. That's the funniest thing you've ever. Oh written. yeah, where I just made it a run-on sentence. Yeah. Oh. And just like, just diverted into Gran Turismo 2. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went from Parasite to Ford versus Ferrari to Gran Turismo 2, Rome, classical Rome circuit. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Whoa, we did it. Ah! How could you have done that? I do not know. The best tweets that I, I like, the tweets that I like that I've ever made are, are never the ones that get like 20k likes. Whatever those happen, like, it's just like, you know that they're gonna do numbers, but yeah. it's not a passion thing. It's no. Not, it's not what's personally played to you, it's what you know will do well in the metric. Yeah. No, one of my favorite ones I've ever done is the. Mythbusters going to Las Vegas to try and prove that the shooting couldn't happen. And they're just like, all right, they're, we're gonna get in trouble for this one, and they're like taking guns out of like bags. Paragon Deku, yeah, no, Deku actually, not actually, that's condescending. Deku's gone viral a few times, man. He's got some good tweets, yeah. You do good, He's bro. He's done numbers. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh. Ah, shit. What is this music? Oh, Deku Redemption Art, could it be? It's disco, because there's a guy saying disco in it. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's what disco is, right? Yeah. No. Damn. Rory's just there to get whacked. Ah! A chorus of soy boys. Hey, 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 hey. King, Thank you for the follow. Yeah, hit the follow button if you're new here, by the way. Are you into disco at all, sir? Uh, maybe Italo disco. Yeah. Look out for number one. Look, it says postmodern in the title. If I can get an emulator up and going, I want to play some PS1 games. I want to play Tomba. Yeah. I'll play some good fucking games. No, disco is very good. Do not insult disco. If you can, Stu, yes. I do have a gamepad. I have a PS1, a PS4 controller. DS4, the best controller there is. <laughs> Jeez. Croc? Croc is shit, more like. Tom has cute pigs. Oh, thank God. Okay. Is it I? Why is it I to lift? All right, I know I I know what I have to do here. Gex, yo, we could probably play some Gex. You can listen to all the. Would we play the the um UK or the US version? Because I'm not used to the US version of Gex, where he has a different voice. Because I played the uh, the uh, original, where he's got like a weird British secret agent voice. 
He does have a different voice in the UK version. He's not voiced by the uh, the comedian guy. He's voiced by a kind of old British dude. Alright, there you go. I hate how she looks. She looks cool. I like the bags under her eyes. It's not it's like the one good design in the game. Alright. No, I hate the scowl. The scowl, the perver scowl. I think it's cool. That little baby girl. Oh cool, yeah, no, it 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 tricks me out whenever I see it. It tricks me out, nice. Oh, hang on, there's a yeah. chest here. Yeah. Vampire of Goth LP. She looks like a monster. She looks like some kind of monster. Rory is level 38. He is, I know, I don't understand. Maybe he just... Mm. I do know, yes, yeah, someone did draw Vila porn. Ah, oh, shit, fuck off. Instead of drawing Vila porn... Just draw, draw fan art of our stream. Yeah, Bailey got fan art. Where's our fan art? Yeah, someone draw fan art of us. Bailey got fan art. It was really cute. Where's our fan art? I can make fan art. Oh god, a Stolfo Sturb. Oh no. Well, Serb has been exploring lately. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Draw, draw, get, draws VTuber, draws VTuber Fursona, not the Fursonas. No. Fursonas? No. 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 VTuber Fursonas. Not with the F. Oh, not dear. Not with the F. Okay, we got, soda. we got one, two more Velas. Design an anime girl. Draw us as yik characters. Is there a third face pic from on Discord? Accidentally, like once, when I tweet, when I post a picture of my uh, uh, baby Yoda sweater. I mean, yeah, our personas are just Tomoko and Chiaki. Yeah, draw. if you want to draw fan art of us, just draw us. Draw my avatar is me. Is what you should think of when you see me. Obviously, you've seen pictures of me, but. Pumpkin holding a gun to Serb's head saying, put on the skirt. Hey, <laughs> if you guys draw fan art, just put it in the creative uh, OC stuff. It, I will put it up every time from the new gets drawn. I'll put it on the stream. That's beautiful. The bread stream was the peak of our audience's creativity, I think. Yeah, drop fan art in the stream. Now, where are the other... There's one, I know where the piano one is. Uh, two of them. The two villains from Fargo, that's not bad, see? Now, where's the, hang on, I think this maestro guy might have music. There's two doors. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Do I have to write that down? I have made progress. Okay, well. We've learned. That's it. it, it thank God it didn't ask us to draw it. Oh! Ah! It's killing him! Oh, my God. Dude, I <coughs> I want to fucking go to LA. I want to fucking do Let's Plays. I want to do Let's Plays for a living, Mom. You don't understand my passion. Okay, no, not here. God damn, you can never remember where anything fucking is in this game. You don't understand, Mom. I just want to play Yik. Now is the... Ugh. What if this was actually, this is actually, I think we talked about this in the other stream, this is a game where you play as Vosh after he's accused of harassment. God damn it, I keep Garlic getting... Corgi mentioned that. He yeah, us. he did. Yeah, that was he's the watching. best. I'm glad he's watching. I hope he is. 
Wait. Piano, right there. You ran right past it. Damn it, did I? Is that Piano Villa? In the TV room. No, hang on. So you gotta understand, this game kind of warps my brain a bit. I kind of don't know where I am or what I'm doing when I play this. He did go a wooga for an Asian. Oh, hang on. Well, there's a piano there, but there's no. Beanie. We need Vila. He's Vosh, yeah. Hang on, I think I know where she is. I don't think I've ever watched one of his videos. He's he does streams where he reads Twitter. Which is like what we do except That's gay. Weird. Except we're actually playing a video game and trying to entertain you. We always end up, we'd end up at the piano room once or twice. Be we like, oh, we do it by accident. Yeah. We do it almost by accident. Yeah, we can't do it on purpose. It's just, ha it has to happen when we ask for it. Sometimes we simply reach the piano room. Play a Scooby-Doo game. <laughs> there, are there any good ones? No. See, God, Vosh is like... Knight of 100 trites. Knight of 100 hey, tropes. Baby. And you have to debunk them all. Tell us about that, Deku. Let's see what's going on in the OC creative shenanigans show. Yeah, let's see what see what they're coming up with. Nah, everyone's just plugging their personal projects. A stream where cool. a stream the channel has that function. I'm glad of it. No, hang on, this is where the drummer was. No yummy dot P Z I I. Shouts out to Naomi P dot P Z I. Uh pretty Pretty great artist, what I'm looking at. Shout out to Yuzi Yoshimi Pee Wee from Boredoms. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. This is a popular artist. Did they watch our... Well, not popular as in like 10k, but... 2,000 people. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Moolahs. That's a lot. Like when you're like... Not a household name. Like just doing it on your own, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's a technical skill. That right there? There's some technical skill. What the fuck am I going? Go back to the giant piano room. Okay. Sick. I'm going back to the giant piano room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I think you might be right. I'm not sure how often they even post really in the Discord version. I like that I like that people plug their art in our thing. Me too, actually. Yay! Yeah, no, no, no. That, that, that's like that's the best level of like self-advertisement that I actually Yeah, okay. I really actually really Okay. No, we're nearly there. Where's the singer though? Maybe she's I think I know where. I think I know where to uh, see. There's Fenric. <gasps> Alex, Alex, Fenric. you're being killed. Uh, another draw F slur that we have in our K zone community. Stop. I've been killed. Stop. <laughs> you're killing me with your big finger. <laughs> no, that might be the singer right there. What? But where's the singer? We still need a singer. I'll do it. Yep, okay, yep. Oh, it's the actual Vila. Oh, thank God. 
You know, you know what? Oh, it's, 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 it's concert! <laughs> Oh, my god. Wow, great concert. Bazinga. John Mouse walks out and pisses his pants. Oh, this looks pretty cool. This is supposed to, yeah, you can tell it's supposed to be a big bowl, but. There it is, the LP! Oh, yeah, thank God, we did it. Sir, we did it, it's over. We're done. Oh, back to the terrible story, which I forgot all about because I was angry. Villa asked oh, I haven't heard that voice in so long. There was a certain aura. She pretended it had to do with not knowing what would happen after we broadcast. Soy Max Payne. Soy. So, I bet you're all wondering why I insisted we play this here. You're probably wondering why I have screwdriver records. I think it's obvious. You want us to listen to music. Hey, Michael. Alex's spoiled ass is the best sound system out of the six of us. That's actually correct. <laughs> His mom works for Lockheed Martin. Back in my reality, I had written an album. This album. But I guess you already knew that. Anyway, just listen. I hope you enjoy what I made. It just sounds like anal cunt. Michael, Michael, no, you know what? We, we talk shit about Michael, but he's the only one that says like, yeah, yeah, Alex is a piece of shit. Yeah, he's, whoa. Line of dialogue. Okay. When I hear this song, I think about distance, the distance between me and the reality I came from. That's crazy. She just puts it on and it's untrue by burial. Everyone's going to hate my song. Oh, I hate it. The guy who I wrote this for, I wonder what he's up to. If Michael was a useful uh, party member, I think I think we would remember him more fondly because he's the only one that calls he, out Alex. He's, he doesn't talk enough to be hateable is the problem. Is like, every time he talks, he's like, Hey, Alex, you're a spoiled piece of shit! Yeah, you don't get the sense that they like each other at all, which I think is really funny. Like, Alex treats Michael like he's, like, his, his uh, mom's boss's son. Yeah. And Michael doesn't even like him. <laughs> yeah, no, see, you don't get the sense that any of these characters like each other at all, which is weird. No, they all like each other except Alex. Well, I mean, see, the thing with, like, the Persona games is you get the sense that, oh, these characters have grown close to each other, and it's like, there's... that never happens. Oh, you can speak Japanese? No, that's not alright. That's not bad. It's alright. <laughs> it isn't actively irritating me. And I'd put on Spotify on my like playlist, fucking like shuffle through, but it's like. Eh. Yeah, you can imagine the characters in like Persona hanging out. You can't. I can't imagine these people wanting to be around each other. Why did Alex get so tall? That's a good visual right here. Look at this. This is neat. I'm wondering if I should play a Persona game. They're fine. Yep. Play half of five. And then play no more of five. <laughs> Why don't we ever ask about you? Wow, it's good. Wait, what's Alex's deal? Where's the good Persona game? Oh, God. Do I have to 
all the way back. You see, the thing is in Persona 5, it's just, like, it's not a bad game, it's just an, it feels like an off entry to the series. Off? In what way? Oh. It, it, uh, uh, hits this brick wall, mm. in, like, at one point. I do know what you mean, yeah. Tail. Yeah, really nice. It's an off entry in the fact that, like, I'm not like, oh, this game was bad, the series is dead. It's like, no, I can... Hmm. Okay. We're, we're, we're listening, we're recover. listening to Vila's song. Yes. Nice. Not what I normally listen to. But I can tell it's good for the genre, probably. She's, they're listening to Kid. <laughs> she wrote Kid A. She just left her party. Oh God! I can tell that she wasn't happy with our replies, but none of us knew what to say. What was that language she was singing in? The music had shown us a side of Bella that we had never expected to see, a sort of vulnerable side. Wow. I felt compelled to chase after her, to tell her the music was beautiful and that she was incredible. Feet didn't move. I remained as still and as silent as everyone else. My body motionless. I surveyed everyone's eyes, willing my brain to bind with theirs and get what they had been thinking. My man's simping. Had they all hated it? Wait, wait we, we, we didn't, we didn't even hear the song. Yeah. Say it's good. You should go after what I want. Rory, don't get into the makeup drawer. Let her know it was great. This is Bella's album. Why was a guy singing on it? Alex, does your mother take menopause medication? I almost cried. I hope she's okay. You gonna talk to her, man? Alex is left. Oh, Alex has left the party? Shit. Oh, shit. I hope that ghost comes. Alex is left the party? That's weird. Deal with this now. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, she's at the playground. Go get her, Tiger. Alex is going to go and uh, invent Pitchfork on the computer. No, we can't do that without Hussy. Otherwise, it's racist. <laughs> what playground? Where's the playground? Oh shit, it's Halloween. Well, thank you, weird robot lady. Well, this is cool. This is pretty charming. Yeah, but when did it become Halloween? I, uh, I, I is get... the playground? Which is near the arcade, I think. What the? Who are these? Are these girls robots? Up the street and into the park. Is Hussy black? Hussy is half black, if you must know. I want to tell you the rest of my story. How I came to be in this reality with you. But I want you to. Like, this is a tender seed, but her. This is a tender seed. Universe avatar scowling. Yeah, Alex is just. He's just angry about Iraq, you know? He, which hasn't happened yet, but boy, he's gonna be angry about it. You know it's, it's gonna. I won't judge you. Vila, we need to stop 9 11. I have come to understand certain things. Things I know to be true. Things that I know others wouldn't understand unless they had experienced them. Before I can begin my story, I need you to understand the basics of how I have come to understand the universe. The link between our bodies and physical space is strong, but it is nothing compared to the link between our minds and physical space. Our bodies exist as a visual representation of our minds. Can someone tell me what's going on? <laughs> ...has the capability of transcending physical form. Many do, even if they don't realize it. The very nature of physical reality is very unphysical. What? Humans have evolved to ignore the complexities and realities of the universe by using physical form to protect them from the harshness of existence. Okay, now I am confused. <laughs> the very nature of being 
is to no, be makes sense. Is to long for and to be unfulfilled. Vila, if we don't bang right now, Donald Trump is going to get elected. <laughs> to cope, we developed corporeal form. The use of physical form is not unlike leaving the light off at all times, obstructing the undesirable. Hey, Vela, a back credit card? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying so far? No. More or less. Please continue. Oh my god, Alex. When I entered your reality, I was a much different person than I am now. My reality was much worse than this one. I was a girl who was entirely lost. That's crazy. From a young age, people thrust their expectations on me. They believed I was destined for artistic greatness. I was a child prodigy in many ways. I had peaked by my early teens, and I was no longer able to perform or create at a level that could match the adults around me. I was, for all intents and purposes, a disappointment. Oh my god, she's a gifted kid and she has imposter syndrome. Picture for a moment, being a young girl who can't do wrong. Everything I created, everything I said impressed those around me. I was the perfect child artist, but that's all I ever was. When I became an adult, my body grew, but my artistry remained childlike. I considered quitting piano, considered removing myself from art altogether, but something pulled me back. Somewhere along the course of my life, I had developed an artist's mentality. That's crazy. You ever think about what it would be like if you were just too talented? I can relate to this. I knew I wasn't a good adult artist, but I was still compelled to create. And with each new thing I tried, I continued to disappoint those around me. It was May 22nd, 1996. When I met the man who would fix this for me. His name was Daniel LePayton. At 3.02 a.m., I walked into a music club in the city. He was on stage, playing to a small but enthusiastic audience. Each note he played on his guitar seemed to tell me something that I had always known but had never really understood. I think Serb died. After he finished, I knew that I had to speak with him. It wasn't before long that we became both romantically and artistically involved. It was as That's the other guy. I was saying the somehow broken guess. the seal around my mind that was preventing me from creating something worthwhile. The lack of refinement to his playing freed me from the confines of, of rhythmic and artistic regularity. What? I don't mean to suggest that he was lacking in technical refinement, just that a certain jubilation came through in his playing that I had never experienced. I'm just listening intently. I'm just letting this Our play out. Our relationship was like a whirlwind of physical and emotional affection. Never had I given myself to someone so literally and spiritually before. Together, we wrote A Distant Voice, and I knew that I still had the hopes of being not only a good artist, but an interesting human being. So you're saying you put out... Something terrible happened on May 22nd of 1997 at 3.02 p.m. His daughter had come home and found What in the goddamn? <laughs> Mr. Epstein oh, told God. me he could get me the connections to get the information <laughs> I needed to grow. As a musician... He hadn't yet told his children about me. I was a much younger woman. He followed her out in, into a coffee shop. I waited for them to return hating myself more and more for entering his life and making it difficult. I waited there until 3.02 a.m. Completely beside wow. myself. Wow, get again. That's crazy. And the strange thing is, he never returned. He never came back into his own apartment. I stayed there for a few days, knowing he'd have to come back eventually. And he simply never did. I called his friends, I called his manager, and they all said they hadn't seen him. Mr. Polanski is busy right now. Just like that, he slipped through the cracks of my reality. No, he just went to France. And, and you never saw him again? I did. It was May 22nd, 1998, at 12.01 p.m. A minute into the first concert I had put on since his disappearance. I had refused to do our music live or release a distant voice until I had seen him again. Finally... Legal pressure forced me to schedule a release for May 22nd, 1999, with a year-long tour to promote it. I watched in terror from behind my piano as he wrapped his arm around a girl even younger than I. This girl was not his daughter, though she was probably his daughter's age. I left the stage and 
Okay, so you joked about him being Roman Polanski. He is Roman Polanski. I don't understand, Bella. You got groomed. It couldn't have been. Bella, you, 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 you fell for Scott Pilgrim. Villa. Knowing it could hurt someone so much. It was in that moment that I longed to leave my reality behind, to sever my ties to my physical form and exist in a different space for many days. Nights, minutes, seconds. Oh, I sat in my bed, slowly drifting further into my own depression. Slowly pulling my mind from Who my body. talks like this? When the separation happened, it was almost immediate. It was so sudden that the painful moments leading up to it felt trivial. Avila, that's really cool, but uh there's a new donkey video that just dropped. <laughs> I was just my mind. And I had left my physical body behind. I floated until I found a reality that seemed different from mine. Hoping to find a reality that contained the him I knew. Hoping that he had fallen into this reality. And we could be together again. And ever since then, I've had this fucked up outlook on life. Was his voice the one we heard on the record? No. No, it wasn't. I don't know whose voice we heard. I was so nervous sharing that music with you guys, I almost didn't realize it wasn't me singing. <laughs> well, everyone loved it. It was amazing. That man was me. Really? <laughs> That's a big twist. That's the big twist is that Alex was the groomer. <laughs> well, what should we do now? Oh shit. Should we? Should we? Should we fucking kiss Mila? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Go for it. Everyone's saying do it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I think I misread that situation. Dear me. I saw that coming. Yeah, no. Uh, it's cool. Let's just... Let's go back inside and... Whatever. Just not that... Whatever. Give her the dick, Alex. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> God bless you. said nope. <laughs> Mystical Ultimate LP Legend. Wait, you can do that with Rory? You can kiss Rory? No. Oh dear. You may say cock, yes. Well, I can't believe that's a bad term. New goal, kiss Rory. I don't think you can. <laughs> All right, well. Alex, I don't like you like that. Alex, come back in three years. Alex, do you want my serial experiments to play with me? <laughs> Alex, do you want me to show you how Ableton works? Alex, do you want, want, you want code and C++ plus plus together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That way we can play it for everyone to hear. Oh god. Alex has joined the party. What was that drug from Lane? I can't remember what it was called. Fentanyl. <laughs> Fentanyl. <laughs> that drug's name? Fentanyl. Alex is voiced by an actual groomer. Probably. For, no, he, he was accused of abuse. Wait, sir, you don't know about you don't know about this? No, I don't. I don't keep tabs on this game. Damn, sir, you missing out. Oh God, how do I get out of this awful place? Go back to the road. Yep. Yeah, you gotta learn the lore. Okay. Where the fuck is the radio tower? Oh, that's right. It's near Alex's house, isn't it? 
This game is, it's, it's revealing of the people who made it. And I think we've discussed this before. That, oh my goodness. Yeah, we have. We have. I, this game has got to surprise us with some new bullshit. Can you, can you go on your skateboard and like, uh, oh yeah, time actually, the... yeah. What was I thinking? So you can't turn your on your skateboard. You can just—it's weird. You can go in like a Z formation of sorts. Yeah, that's kind of how you gotta do it. What the fuck? What was that? What was that? What was that? Ah! We shouldn't have talked to him. We shouldn't have talked to him. Oh my god, we're in the chess level. Start. Oh, I hate the chess realm. Oh, we're trapped in the chess world. Why is Rory here? Why isn't Rory here? RNG. Yeah, God. Oh, only eight damage. Seventeen damage. Jeez. Off he goes. Now, Rory has so much HP due to being really overleveled for some reason. I think that's his gimmick. Yeah, maybe. This! Can, like, tank your people, because I think, like, instead of attacking, you could, like, take a hit with somebody. Yeah. Dodge! Well, No More Heroes has bad minigames on purpose. That's that's a point. What? Oh. That's proving a point. That was bad RNG. That was bad. I still got 15 damage. What the fuck? Oh, kill him. Yeah. Oh. Well. Side quest? What side quest? I didn't even know I was. Was I on a side quest? Hail to the king, I didn't even baby. think this game had those. I did, uh, what? Yeah, might as well go level up. I wonder if the mini games even matter. If they even are real mini games. Rory, stop leveling up. Oh jeez, yeah. I have a ton of it. I got yeah, I got a ton of XP. Yick, laugh, love. This goes to show you how dumb like this game is. Even. Yeah, this this has the Fable Three leveling thing, which everyone hated, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I don't know why it takes so long to level up, but it is a pain in the goddamn ass. Because fuck you, that's why- that's pretty much is, yeah. Oh, see, you can- you can mag- I guess customize your stats, but I, I can't be fucking bothered. There's no point. It's the game's lame. The game is lame. The game's lame. Oh God. Daddy, the game's oh, lame. Has the Look dungeon master finally sent me the help I requested? Oh no. Oh, shut up, bird. You know how 
out a science book. Oh. <laughs> he even had a proper education. Arithmetic, history, Latin, astronomy. That offensive look of disease shows me that you haven't even graduated. I'm skipping the bird. 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 Go. Skipping the bird. Hey guys. Hussy. It's Hussy, everyone. Yeah. I'm Babe. Be calm tonight. Okay. Hussy's real calm. He can't be calm long because he's playing Yik. How you been, bro? We haven't heard from you in a while. How you been? Uh, I'm at my girlfriend's. Oh, yeah? Right. That's why That's why I didn't shake it out to, like, join us. Because I was like, hey, he's doing literally something better than this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm done with her. I'm, I'm tired of her now. <laughs> boys time. Something to be with the boys. No, we watched Barry Lyndon. Oh, that's, and, uh, that's a good-ass movie. That's, uh, it is a good-ass movie, but, you know, you watch a three-hour gay movie with your girlfriend, you kind of got to check out. Yeah. Tap out. You watch Pink Flamingos of her? No, I have not actually seen that. She'd love to watch that, though. It's um, fucking strange, it's but... Good, it's a good-ass movie. Where is the... All queer art, of course it is. Where is the... Gay people are strange. Correct. <laughs> How could you have sex with a man? That's crazy. How could you do that? <laughs> All right. Now that you're here, I, I, I have the liberty to. Take oh, me. oh, it's out of the back of the house. Yeah, that's right. Fuck. What was I doing? Don't. It's Halloween. Yeah. It is. It yeah. Just sort of happened. It, we're now it's Halloween. Yeah. Anyway, I ended up doing a side quest by accident. There's side quests in this. There, I. We only we just we that. we just found out that there are side quests. Because we just fought a random enemy and it's like, hey, congrats on the side quest. We didn't even know. That's stupid. This is very dumb. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm a beer bee. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to the radio. Do you, know, do you know Jake? You know Jake Rhodes on Twitter? Jake Rhodes? No. Who's Jake Rhodes? Rhodes? Yeah. I don't know. Thomas? Oh, uh, maybe. I might. Lino Killer? Oh, yeah, I know him. He's cool. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Check out their podcast, folks. I listen to that. Pendejo Boys is a good podcast. Or maybe it's Pendejo Time. I'm not sure. Check that out. You can just ride your... Ride the shill. You can just ride your skateboard straight through enemies, which is cool. That's based. Just skip through the game. Hell yeah. That's how I wish the game could be all the time. Pussy wants to sleep, but there are enemies nearby. Shut the fuck up. Don't ever make a video game joke at me again, man. He'll kill you. This stupid chat this fucking... These chat people. Oh, They're God. Poison. They're poisoning my bloodstream. You gotta get out of there, hussy. I'm sick. I'm a sick guy. Too much yicking has ruined my body. Sugar. Exactly. Every day, 70 pull-ups, 10 push-ups, one sit-up. <laughs> one sit-up. Turn into chiseled steel. <laughs> <laughs> Sit-ups are a girl's exercise. Let's keep it real. Hell yeah. Not real. That shit's fucking... That shit's stupid. Hell yeah. Is Barry Lyndon really that good? Yes, it's really that good. Um, I don't know what to say, man. It's Kubrick, Jick Johnson. It's a pretty good guy. I mean, it's a pretty slow fucking movie, but I liked it. It's about like a pretty much a retard. It's basically a movie that, that tells you the Irish will never succeed because they're too stupid. <laughs> a racial so reading of Barry Lyndon. <laughs> have you have you got the stream on your end, Hussy? Time is measured differently. Yeah, I oh, see it. Nice, nice. For myself, it was in days since Sammy had been missing. For Michael. It was days until school began and he lost his freedom. Michael. For Bella, time was measured in music. A I'm glad that he's explaining the themes of the game to us now. The world carried more weight than yeah, the who are these black people? <laughs> They're just friends we made. <laughs> you, you leave stream like twice, you come back and there's just black people for some reason. <laughs> Chandra, oh, that's racist. She's voiced by a white girl too. 
Should I play it? That's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, we've come this far. It'd be stupid not to do it. I'm ready, guys. I feel like something exciting is about to happen. I hope so, Rory. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Worst comes to worst, we made the world a little better with some beautiful music. How'd you get in here? I'm back, but I don't like this guy. I don't like Claudio. Really? Say, uh, Rocky? Yeah? I think I got about 15 minutes or so. Yeah, okay, me and Hussey can chill for a bit. Yeah, I figured tag in, tag out. You can do that. Damn, you got lucky, dude. I tagged in. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta fight the Undertaker. Yeah, the bro. The heavyweight belt, I'm gonna fucking get it. You're gonna hoist it. Uh, by the way, here's the robot that the game's been just showing to us. Doesn't here's, he? Here's not Igus. Oh shit. The essential. Chess pieces. Oh shit. What if you just died in this mission? Yeah, what if that was the end of the game? I don't know. I like this girl. This girl's nice. Self destruct, uh. Machine gun. Oh, oh god, not another one! They've what? been. They've been playing decent songs recently. Yeah, that's. They should have just got, like, one musician to do the soundtrack. I think this game is a cavalcade of different musicians. I think Toby Fox did one track on this. Yeah, he did. He did. Oh, wow. It's like a Vocaloid track, dude. I know. They, they've, been, they've been turning these out recently. I don't, I don't fucking mind it. An actual character design, someone said. Oh. It's a cool design. I like it. Hussy, uh, a comic you made that I've been thinking about a lot lately is the uh, half future one. Where he's just a good dude. That's why I've been tweeting like three times a day. Like, what well, if the happy Birch is just a good dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my girlfriend's favorite comic of mine. Happy Merchant. Just a nice guy. And it's like, oh, Mr. Goldberg, you're also, you're always so generous to us. People look like that, man. In real life. There are people that look like that, and I'm sure they're very nice. <laughs> exactly. Happy Merchant just wants to give you his wares. He wants to sell you things, trinkets. And he happens to look like a big old fat Jew. <laughs> That's it. He's just a nice guy. Oh. I am fighting stereotypes, Jick Johnson. Some people in the world just happen to look like fat Jews. Interesting. And that's okay. Um, how the fuck do I... <laughs> what? This mini game sucks. This really kills the pacing. Okay, hang on. What? How do you do this? Happy Merchant taught me it's okay. It'd be weird. He gave me my start in comedy. He's the green, the idea. green bits. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait. What in the goddamn? Wait until the lines are aligned. All right. Yeah, now I get it. This fucking. Who is this? A robot. Who's this robot? It's a robot. It's my favorite robot. Man, why is there gotta be a robot? This game fucking sucks. Oop. You have Good job! Died. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the game. The robot fucking died. <laughs> Damn, the shitty green... Oh, the shitty green icons. <laughs> Alright, now you know how to play it. Stream's over. Dodge! Yeah, she has a good design. It's I actually, like it. It actually, it's actually decent. It's just weird. Yeah, her and Bella got good design. Dude, no, wait, 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 you should avoid those, that, that lowered your health. I know that. Oh, shit. This game should have just been about Bella. Yeah. So I can jerk off. That's not it. 
so I can beat my meat with the thighs. <laughs> Correct. The only way to play the game. Yeah. That's how I play every game. I'm <laughs> just waiting to beat off. That's how I play GTA 3. I waited until the uh, Japanese girl came on screen and I started beating it. <laughs> I beat my shit raw. It was fucking red and... My pud was red and bleeding. <laughs> That's why I love fruit snacks. There's so many... Or what's that game called? Bug snacks? Bug snacks. So many attractive ladies in that game. See, he's been bug snacks pilled. When are you gonna take the bug snacks pill? I don't know. They're so beautiful to me. Those little muppets. I'm always beating it to them. <laughs> I'm glad that she has a. Uh... Dude, now you're gonna die. I know. People tell me bug snacks has a really dark ending. It does. I actually saw the ending. It's kind of funny, actually. It's like a Cronenberg type thing. Whoa! What? <laughs> I died! What? This guy lost twice. How? Do you feel <laughs> what just happened? Actually, how? Actually, how? Do you feel that, Tina? You actually, that like, did that so beautifully. It was so strong, it killed me. <laughs> What's going on? Do you, you did that mini game so perfectly. All right, don't use the ones that do your energy. No, no special attacks. All right. Okay. All right. This guy stinks. Don't play the game too well. You'll die. You're playing a little too well, there, son. Chat, can I can I spoil bug snacks for you? Yeah, go ahead. You get fired from your job at the end. <laughs> He's beating off to the bugs. Uh, basically, the, the bugs are the bugs are parasites. So you you spent twenty hours uh, giving people parasites to eat and shit, and uh, you go to like a, a big island, and I think the island's made out of the, the bugs or some shit. And they're all parasites, and uh, this person you've been looking for the entire game Whoa. went MIA or some shit. Some scientists, they're uh. They're actually ah! parasites, and they're like controlling them, and they stop the parasites from, from subsuming the island, and uh, yeah, that's it. You like blow up the island, you blow up all the bug snacks. He killed all the yeah, bugs? The bug are all cute, they're just like, say their names all the time, like Pokemon. They were bug snacking it too hard, and that's what I say. I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of cute, but that game looks like shit. It's just not for me. It looks boring. I'm sorry. It looks like Pokemon Snap, which is also boring. I don't like taking photos. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> I'm not much of a photographer. Like, like someone, Pokemon. someone gives me a free copy of Bug Snacks and just say, "Yeah, sorry, I'm not too much of a photographer." I'm not a Bug Snacks guy. Oh, I don't want to play this. No, I'm not a bug guy. Sorry. I'm not bug chaser. I'm not in. Yeah, God damn it! I was about to do that joke. Gay vine single like. Hell yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm neurotypical. I can't play this game. This is a great mini game. Oh yeah. Whoop. I'm really glad you have to do it every time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, chat. I'm not joking. That's that's the ending of Bug Snacks. No, I've I've watched the ending. I've seen the ending of yeah, Bug Snacks, and there, Jesus, like... the the. The Holocaust illusions were a bit much. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why they. Six people died during the Holocaust. It's a bit weird. That's crazy that you keep. <laughs> we just keep. We're so bored. We're getting into these bits. I just think I don't know. I don't like six million. Eh, I mean I don't. Know. Six million maybe bug snacks. Parasite speaking, but I think maybe two hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> Stop. You know, okay. Thousand and one on a good day. Maybe you had a point five That's in there. That's bug snacks for you. That's bug snacks crazy, how they. That's the ending of bug snacks. That's the ending of bug snacks. Is Big a... round table discussion. Bazinga. How big was the chaos for this dog shit? Friend, thank you. Someone look that up, actually. 
What? How many people died during the Holocaust? No, no. How many fucking mo how much money this piece of shit got for the Kickstarter? So that they could waste years of their lives on this crap. Thank you. I just think it was weird that the bug snacks kept pulling up black crime statistics. <laughs> I don't know why they put that in there. All right, guys, the story is starting again. Holy shit! Did you guys see that? What's going on? You guys put on the record and went into an epileptic fit. It must have been those Japanese records. It would have been funny in any other context. I, I did see it. It was amazing. It was the woman made of plastic that I've been dreaming about. What? Woman made of plastic? What does that mean, Alex? She's like an android or something, but she's like plastic. That's happened to you before? Yeah, like once or twice. It's been a recurring dream or something. But the entities that were behind the camera she destroyed them so easily and and that wasn't vanished i wouldn't say we destroyed them easily no no it took a few tries if she could destroy the entity so easily i don't think there's much danger she could be in but we need to find we are if she is in constant danger we died twice right to wake her up i agree you're right but what's actually going on here? what is the plot of this what is she i you okay yeah I yeah that she like ha wasn't this supposed Okay, it's a big revelation that Bella came from a different universe. Yeah. Because, like, she just I, I can't really explain it yet. Talks about it so philippantly. And every character's like, yeah, we know. Some time, and maybe I'll be able to put it into I must have missed something during the Angie stream, man. Man, I, you didn't miss much. Did we just go and try and find the van this mysterious android is in? If only we could have seen the outside of the van, then we'd at least know what we're supposed to be looking There's for. a word missing there. They said outside of van instead of outside of the van. The subtitles were wrong. Angie's stream was just combat, and God bless it, it was a good stream, and Angie's a fun guest. Oh my God! Hey, Alex, do you have a minute? Oh, not right now, Rory. Man, we can't have this discussion. What's up? I've been feeling weird lately, and I don't know why. I was wondering if you could. Rory, I wish you killed time. yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh Jesus! Here, Rory, oh. no, not now. Something in my mind. Oh <laughs> no, Rory, no. <laughs> Well, so what's wrong? Well, I don't know. I've just had a lot of my mind lately, and should we just kill him to kill himself? I think that's something you can do. Yeah, can we can we kill him? I'd like to kill him. Wait for him to speak. Take your time, man. Well, I've just been really depressed lately. Oh, that sucks, dude. Thinking about my sister, my parents, just how much life is going to change from now on. Damn, that's crazy. Younger than me, but she really was my best friend. That's fucking weird, dude. And now she's gone. I feel aimless. We had plans, things we wanted to do in the future, places we wanted to go, movies that we wanted to see, new games to play together, and now none of that will happen. Sometimes I wish. You know what I mean, right? That is hair, not a hood, right? Uh, no, nah, man. I don't know what yeah, any of that means. Sense. I can't relate, Rory. You're a bitch. What do your friends on Discord tell you, Rory? You don't have your sister anymore. You're a fucking pussy. <laughs> have all of us. Mike, I'm glad your sister's Bella, dead. Chandra, Claudio. <laughs> we can't replace your sister, but we're happy with it. We're still here. Are we? If you had become a soul survivor, then we never would have met you, and that's really depressing. I'm I'm not the best with these sort of things, but basically, I'm saying. I'm happy with my life. Yeah, thanks. Okay. This is awkward. Let's go find the android or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Rory, you're gonna have to put these socks on. <laughs> what? Ro I was busy that Rory. That makes sense. I'm gonna have to need you to hear. You can replace your sister tonight. <laughs> hey, no, yeah, don't 
Don't do that again. Rory, the wig, <laughs> the wig has the wig has to stay on. Okay. <laughs> well, this is what the people on Discord said would happen. Sorry, I yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Look, it's not like you're not cool. I'm just not into you that way. Not yet, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I get it. Sorry. Wow. That was that was stupid. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I look away from the screen for one second. I love my mother. I love my sister. What in the goddamn? Wait. If you start taking these pills, I will email your loads to your boss. <laughs> Alex just goes home and thinks about being gay. I love them, but not in a way that's filled with a romantic sense of love. I've had seven girlfriends. Did this guy take some LSD or something? <laughs> I remind him when things were over. Something funny happened that night when I went to bed. I had a dream of you. Rory was there, but he looked different. Yes, it was about the android. She wasn't trapped inside a moving van. She was free. She had a penis. In my dream. <laughs> We'd been together for a long time. We weren't old. We didn't get old. I knew inside my heart how well she treated me. I knew for the first time. She was the only woman I'd ever treated well. Inside my dream world, she entered my dreams. What? Read that sentence again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's some ninth grade level. That's some good shit right there. God damn. She entered my thoughts. She filled up every part of my mind. Even the parts I wanted to hide away. She was like the old Bruce Lee quote. Be like water. No, man. No. No, dude. Come on, man. She didn't judge. She didn't have a place to judge. She, unlike all other humans, was aware of human flaws. She didn't pretend we didn't think about hatred, violence, jealousy, sex. She was a person. She got that. And how funny she was, too. She is, and always will be, a woman made of plastic. What? <laughs> that's some like that's the Murakami writing. They're stealing. They're yeah, no, they're Shittily they dark. are really like I read Near Dark recently and holy fuck this game rips off of that really bad. Yeah, I've read uh I've read some Murakami. They're taking the gayest parts of it. Near Dark is good, yes. What was I feeling? There was like a warm light surrounding me. Someone had flipped a switch in my brain. Understood something I wasn't capable of understanding before. I felt a weird joy inside me. I had a secret no one else was allowed to know. A secret that was meant only for my ears. And it was the android who told me. But I couldn't. I tried to recall the dream, but it was already slipping away to the periphery of my mind. He's gonna hot glue the android. I couldn't remember specific scenes, but I could remember the feeling the dream had given me. I knew they wouldn't be leaving me. I thought about Michael, then Rory, then Claudia. Hey man, shut up. Shut the fuck up, Alex. I thought about Bella and Sammy. And I felt weird. Like I had done something wrong. As if I had wronged them somehow in the dream. It just went mad. Suddenly I needed to see Bella. But why? Why did I suddenly have the urge to apologize? No, that wasn't it. Thank her? No, I, I don't know why. He's just jerking off all thinking this. Do it alright, I'm gonna get going. Alright. Everyone say goodbye to Serb. Thanks for coming, Serb. Alright. No problem. Goodbye. See, goodbye, brother. Comes, uh, uh, extreme. Oh, yeah. No, I'm captivated again, you have Serb. I'm, uh, I'm back into Yik. I'm, I'm, t I'm, I'm Yik pilled again. Now that the plot is actually going yeah. somewhere. I'm yicked. I'm getting yicked. I got yick in the veins. I got yick inside my blood. And now that this stupid fucking plot is going again. Knee deep, baby. Knee Why deep in the yick. Yeah, I guess it's Halloween. I guess it is how it's... I didn't know this game had seasons. Why did I? I like that Bully does that. Bully has seasons. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Game. That's a really good game. That's my favorite Rockstar game. It's a good game. Alright, we gotta go see. Are we gonna. 
Wait a minute, you're not a villain. I apologize to this stupid bitch. Yeah, where is this dumb bitch? Hang on. Where could Vela be? Yick my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Postmodernism, no story. This shit's gay and I want to fuck Rory. <laughs> It's funny when I, I do a joke and chat says LMAO because I don't think any of the jokes I say are funny and not in a self-deprecating way. They just come out of me. I, I kind of look down on people who laugh at my jokes. <laughs> now you're laughing. Kidding. I don't look down on you guys. I just think it's it's funny to have a platform and say stupid shit. That's the best part of any of it. Is that what postmodernism is? Think... No, postmodernism is when you have sex with your dad. Yeah, basically, yeah. Because you're breaking conventions. What's up? Man, why you bugging? Why you bug? Why you bugging? Why are you bugging me, man? Why are you bugging, white boy? Whoa. Can you post clips in chat? Yeah, you can post some clips, man. I, by all means, take clips. You got some clips? Yeah, do some promo for the show. Carve so that. Have... Share it. Share it with your Thanks. friends. Oh God. Chat. I don't even retweet the stream when I'm on it, cause I just know, I just know this. This is gonna go places. Hell yeah, baby. I don't need promo. I don't need ads. He doesn't need ads. Shit like that. He doesn't do that shit. What do I need to I'm do? CEO. Looking for Vela. I don't know. I think you need to find Vela, yeah. Where could she be? Where is this bitch? There's Trans Regret Snoopy in her home. Yeah, I'm postmodern. I'm a postmodern guy. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of postmodern. The hint says, where could Vila be? But I went to the arcade and she's not there. Could she be in the radio tower? I don't know. That's probably where I'm going. Yeah, yeah I'm a pre-modern guy. Same, yeah, same here, Chai guy. I agree. I'm, I'm pre-modern. I'm before the telephone. I don't need technology, man. I don't need any of that fancy cat technology. What if Vila is the I'm real like Alex? Amish people. I'm pretty Amish myself. Yeah, I love that you can just skateboard right through the enemies, which is good. Yeah, it kind of makes it really stupid and pointless. <laughs> like, why Why would they let you do that? They just, it's like they don't want me to play the game, and you know what? I respect that. Yeah. It does suck. It's a bad game. It's a very bad game. It's bad art. I'm like a guy from a Death in June song. Jake Johnson, do you mean like Hitler? <laughs> it's the only guy I can think of in a Death in June song. Well, Vila's not here. Mostly just Hitler and Hitler speeches. I think one song oh. in Brown Book is literally just a Hitler speech. I'm 90% sure. I can't remember. I haven't listened to Brown Book in a while. Brown Book sucks. I don't like it. No, it is the best one. Kind of repetitive. Cause the entire back half is just like the first half, but without vocals. I hate that. Yeah. Is Hitler postmodern? Um, yeah, cause he was subverting Jewish expectations. <laughs> oh, oh Vila's at Michael's house. All right. Doing a pastiche. It's not what we expected from fascism. That's the thing. It's about subverting conventions. Um, no one thought you could kill <laughs> six million <laughs> until that point, and then he did it. And you know, you can't applaud the man, but sometimes <laughs> no, you no, have no. To applaud the man. Shut up, Tussie. 
<laughs> so, anyways, that concludes my lecture for tonight. Uh, please, please don't tell the university that I'm saying such things. I know this is a like, level 101 English class, but... <laughs> Sir, this is an English class. Uh, Sir. Tangents. Sir, we're here to learn about literature. You got it. Well, this is my struggle. <laughs> you ever think about that? Teaching this class for pennies. You're telling me not to talk about the world's greatest literature guy? <laughs> he was a writer. <laughs> Sir, this is this is a gym class. What are you talking about? Look, go do your sit-ups. All right, F fifty sit-ups. I better hear some some Nazi speeches while you're doing them. Or you're kicked out of class. Sir, I'm Jewish. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna fuck one of the cheerleaders and then hop off to Mexico so I don't get arrested for statutory rape. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Mr. What was his name, Mr. Hussey? <laughs> I don't like that guy. You can tell he likes his job because he doesn't touch the kids. <laughs> Dude, gym teachers are, are horny bastards. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, hey, cool. that's not a teacher. Who, who is this person? They're not. They don't work here. They just came in and started talking about Hitler. <laughs> You're not the gym teacher. I mean, how do you think the Greeks were? What do you think the Romans did? You'd hear an academic, an academic type, he'd talk on the streets. Um, he'd lecture the masses. <laughs> he didn't have a degree to his name. He didn't even have a farthing or a penny or food to his name. He just had his words. That's right. And he'd sip on some tea that the natives would give him, the village elders. And he'd talk about how, you, you know, the proper way to have sex with a boy. Which is through the thighs, but no penetration. Because it's not gay that way. Right. But, uh... Where the fuck does yeah, Michael live? He'd be called, like, Archimedes. And Archimedes the Great. And Sir, when are we going to learn... <laughs> when are we going to learn math? <laughs> <laughs> He's been talking about pet... He's... As a teacher. <laughs> He's been talking about pederasty for ten minutes. I went from a university teacher to a gym class teacher to a uh, to a math teacher. My God! Someone in chat said I'm like Coach McGurk, and they're kind of right. Coach McGurk. I watched a lot of home movies as a kid. I think it corrupted my brain. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck does Michael live? In our hearts and souls. Ooh, nice midriff. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the fuck is Michael? Ah! Who's Michael? Who is Michael? He's a character. Michael's the camera photographer guy. Yeah. <coughs> Michael Richards. As he's uh, known to his friends. Maybe she's in the park. Oh, there she is, yep. I knew she was in the park. I love the fall, but sometimes I hate it. Does that make sense? No. Of course it doesn't. No. Probably because I get so sad to see it go. Are you gonna fuck me or not? I like Thanksgiving. That's always fun. But, like, Christmas? That's always depressing. The celebration always makes me feel uncomfortable. Like... Are you really happy, or are you just pretending because it's Christmas? I never thought of it that way. I love the fall too. It always wow. Happens. We don't have fall in Australia. We don't have seasons. It's just hot and cold, hot or raining all the time. You know, I haven't thought about. Yeah, I've seen Mad Max. <laughs> I know how your place operates. I don't miss. Mm -hmm. This conversation is fucking stupid. Psych. I don't think I'm great at anything that helps real life, though. Maybe dreaming. I have a lot of dreams. Things I want to happen. Now, if only they'd be grounded in reality. Am I, is this supposed What's to be like a cute? I don't. I don't know what the chemistry between these two is supposed to be. We're sad sacks. Do they like each other? I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I don't. 
It's, they ask through serious I questions. guess they like each okay. other now. We're we're I we're about to get actually like them. We're about to get serious. Go for it, Ginger Boy. Oh what shit! Was your world like? Will you suck my penis? <laughs> <laughs> Will you touch my cock? You know, I don't think anyone has asked. Viola, you need to touch my dick. Wow. I try not to think about my old reality, but it really wasn't all that bad. Things are mostly the same. We had more cows, though. Lots of cows. And the music? Different. Your metal is our pop. Isn't that weird? Just touch the head. <laughs> My mother would love your thrash metal. We also didn't say the 90s. We called it the end times. Isn't that funny? Alex, just fucking shove your hand down her pants, man. That's what she wants. We all joked that 2000 would be the end of the world. That's what you gotta do, man. That and... Well, this is gonna sound weird. But we don't look at death the same way. In this reality, death is like giving up or making a mistake. How can you fault someone for dying? We all publicly acknowledge that when someone dies, you're sad for yourself, not for them. That, and... What is it? We can call our dead. When my grandmother passed away, I was 12. Wow. That's I've crazy. spoken to her once a month for the past 12 years. Is anybody there? All truth becomes scarce. If I can build it. There are phones, special phones. You put in money, dial the social security number of your loved one, and for three minutes you can speak to them. That's crazy. You can talk to them about anything, with one exception. Sex. Under no circumstances are you allowed to ask about where they are and how they're feeling. If you do, they lose their phone privileges forever, and you have a 10 year hold on your account. What? Like, for real? Yes. And we never dream. I didn't know about dreams when I first came here. I had my first dream the night before I met you. Must be fate. We also don't have fate where I come from. I think we never oh my God. put ourselves Shut in that up. sort of box. Shut you the take fuck away your up. own freedom by even pretending things like that might exist. This is like high school philosophy. philosophy. It's incredible. What was it like? I don't have the talent with words to explain it. It's something you should see for yourself. What? Leave my body? I don't think I could ever. Maybe not, but... Okay, look at it this way. It's crazy how you don't dream. It's crazy how you don't have an inner monologue. Before I traveled this whole space, I was a different person. Yeah, Asian people don't Someone dream. <laughs> That's just how it is. <laughs> That's just how it is. Too busy thinking about golf. Yeah, I learned that so in science class <laughs> from, uh, from my teacher. You're the strange. Fired for doing Hitler speeches. Asked, <laughs> I realized unconditional love exists, but only as something to strive for. It's just a concept. There's no way to actually put it into practice. We can say we love someone unconditionally, and we can act like we do. The world sucks ass. But it's not to judge people for what they did to you or someone else. To accept someone for being. What are you thinking about, Alex? Well, I'm rotating a cube in my mind. Accept someone for being. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm rotating a dodecahedron in my mind's eye. I'm a human. We're all human. We all have flaws. We all hurt each other. But is that the thing to be fixated what on? What the fuck is the thesis of this game? And I do believe unconditional love exists. Yeah, I don't know, man. What is this like, Dostoevsky for retards? What are they <laughs> doing here? So what if I have? This is supposed to be like a interesting back and forth where I learn about myself. I don't know. I don't know. It's just. I had this dream, and in this dream, I was loved unconditionally. Whoever loved me loved my flaws and loved my mistakes as much as yeah, I it's called your mom, dude. Yeah. Is that so hard to believe? Your mom paid for college and everything. She loves you. So, who was she? Spit it out. Was it Sammy Parr? No, I don't think so. It was Jesus. He's thinking about Jesus. Maybe it was. Maybe He's thinking of Muhammad. <laughs> the android in the van. Maybe it was all three of you as one being. Well, I think you're a lazy ass half the time, so I don't think I'm the one to love you unconditionally. But, yes, keep chasing the missing girl who entered the soul space. I'm sure when you finally find her, she'd love you unconditionally. Hey, that's not fair. Also, Sammy is out there. She isn't in the soul space. I can... I can feel her out there. I need that pussy. Hmm. Maybe you're feeling her out there in the soul space. Let me touch it. Maybe. So, Vela, 
What the hell are we gonna Let do about finding the Let me that pussy. She's trapped in the van and... Calm down. You haven't checked on us in 1999 today, have you? We haven't gone online yet. ...pointing out a mysterious van in all the most recent and believable posts. He made some other weird posts too, but I don't think I can show you those. And here's a strange one for you. In one of the photos of Sammy Park, there's a van. He asked everyone who sees the van to reply to the thread and post a location so we can check it out. Wait, are you serious? How did I not see this? Holy crap. Okay, I, I need to go back and check. Wow, this is perfect. So that means she's around here then. Well, I mean, vans have wheels, so it could be far away, but yeah, it could be. We're gonna need a car. How else can we catch up to it? Do you have a car? No. You're forgetting I've lived in this reality for a year. How do you expect me to even have a license? I don't even have a social security number, and I make minimum wage at an arcade. Damn. How do you get paid? How do you make money? Where do you live? Where does your food go? Yeah. You don't have a social security. How do you get paid? He's a cool Fucking guy. Dumb bitch. He's a bit older than us, so it makes sense. I think he's in his late 20s. You should spend some time with him and Chandra, really get to know them first. Oh, they scare me, Vela. I don't know why. Not usually a good idea to ask for rides unless you really know someone. At least where I come from. Yeah, good idea. You know, this is gonna sound a bit weird. Oh dear, here it comes. He's gonna ask to jerk off in front of her. Lately, I felt like I don't even know my own reality. Mm -hmm. The more I think about it, Nothing is as I remembered. When I was a kid, things felt different. Pre-college Alex's life was so much more simple. I never noticed all these things, all these strange, strange things. That's how I felt right before I left my reality. Maybe you're starting to get Wow, okay. It. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. it is. That's crazy. Damn. Wow, I'm getting really yicked right now. I'm getting yicked. That was Oh, fucking that wall. That was oh, so philosophical. That was crazy. That was crazy. How'd they come up with this? I'm shit? really feeling invigorated. Wow. Oh, we gotta go home and check the computer. God, the plot twists just keep coming. Oh, jeez. Wow. No, get off get off your skateboard, Alex. <laughs> dreams are reality and, and, and reality's dreams and all oh, things used to be so simple and wow. Alright. I never hey, thought about you. that. What's, uh, what's going on, man? Oh, you know, just enjoying my day off. Beautiful sun, awesome scent of burgers in the area. It's a pretty nice town, man. The cops only pulled me over yeah, once. That's, a that's something yeah, someone would say. Line. Awesome scent of burgers in the area. Okay. Great. I never work retail, but I imagine it blows. Oh, well, I don't really work at the record store. I own it. Did you know? You own it? What? Yeah, I own all the record what? shops. I opened the first black owned business about nine years ago. My grandfather passed. This guy's like the Jefferson. The money. <laughs> Put the money down, got a business loan, and the rest is history. Every time you buy a record, I see some profits. Pretty sweet deal if I do say so myself. Okay. I had no idea. No wonder you have such a tubular ride, man. Tubular? <laughs> living the dream, Alex. Living the dream. So what's up, man? What are you up to today? I gotta go collect rent from my tenants. Well, I want to use a capitalist. I don't like the end. Rory put up a post on Honors in 1999 about it, and apparently sightings have been flooding in. Once we get a credible hit, you down to go? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. That was smart of Rory. Have you seen him around? No. I wonder if he went back home yesterday. No idea. Make sure you let me know when you're ready to go, okay? Well, I gotta go look at the internet. Time to look at a message board so we can find a fucking van and spend 10 hours doing stupid bullshit. Hell yeah, we're yicking, baby. Yeah, we're yicking, man. This, this is the peak of video games. It's this either this or cyberpunk. Incredible. Where I can experience the joys of, uh, of I guess, walking around buildings and shooting people very very cool the mall we're going to the mall cyberpunk lets you have a weird penis too this does not let's you have a fucked up pud i actually like that but you can't see it 
So what's the point? It's a tower for all of it. All right. Well, I'm letting you know now. I'm I'm ready to look for the van, Claudio. Claudio, I'm. Nah, man. You gotta talk to someone else. Well, I mean, uh, I think I think um. Oh. I don't. Th I don't know. I think the game kind of just forgot about Chandra. Oh, hey, it's Michael. Hey, man, what's up? So Rory put up a threat on Anna's in 1999, looking for the van that has the android. You down to go look for it once we get a credible hit? Yeah, just let me know when. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the post again. In about an hour and a half, let's meet up at Burger Joint. Claudio has this van there, and he's ready to go once we pick a place to hit up. Okay, sounds good. I'll let the others know. Oh, do you have Rory's number? I tried messaging him on honest. Oh, I gotta go see my depressed boy. Oh, no. Nah, never bothered He's again. dead. We can swing by and pick him up on the way if we want. That's a good idea. He was pretty bummed yesterday when I last saw him. Damn, my boy got depression. Oh, it's Chandra. How bad is this game? It's pretty bad, man. Pretty bad. I've just been hanging out. Why is she so thick? Right so that's your thing, right? This girl's white, by the way, this voice actress. You wander around all pensively, <laughs> thinking about unattainable women? That's pretty bad. Yeah. Never thought of it that way. You couldn't have gotten a black woman, man. Easy there. I was only kidding. Do you have any leads on it? Not really. I was thinking we should all get together and talk through what we know so far. Bella pointed out that I don't know you and your brother so well, so I thought I'd change that. What would you like to know? I'll let you ask two questions. Uh, you want how to do know I acquire my... um, oh. swagger? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're strange, Alex Eagleston. But I'll bite. Last Christmas, me, Claudio, and my parents went to Japan for Claudio's birthday. We stayed in Nakashibetsu with my dad's co-worker. His parents left him their house when they passed away. We stayed there from mid-December to mid-January. I remember feeling scared arriving in Japan. I knew the culture shock was going to be one thing, but I didn't really know what it meant to immerse myself in another culture. I thought it couldn't have been more racist than Italy. The first two weeks, I hung with my parents while Claudio wandered around, coming back each night with crazy stories about the girls he was meeting and the fun he was having. That's the amazing thing about my brother. Even in a small town like Nakashibatsu, he can find people to inspire. His happiness is infectious sometimes. Doesn't help he's such a nerd. I'm a bit of a shy person, you know? But eventually I realized that people are the same in every country. I made a friend. Her English was terrible. Even worse than my Japanese. So we started hanging out. And long story short, she bought me this on the last day of our trip. Have you ever heard of Syndrome de Paris or Paris Shokugan? No. It's a psychological disorder affecting Japanese people who vacation in Paris. People who have this hallucinate, get delusional, feel persecuted. It's like extreme culture shock. That's what I felt. Well, I've Except read the Wikipedia too, too, man. Yeah, that's me. It's crazy. I was an American in a tiny Japanese town. It took me a while to get over my fears. But when I did, Honestly, like, this isn't that bad. It's There's not, like, a ton of, like, AAVE. Bear taught me how to hula hoop. And for three yeah. weeks... If she was calling him a jive turkey, it would be it would be kind of weird. Sometimes, all it takes is one... Cool yeah, it's not the worst. Show, you know? But never heard of it's a little bit kind of funny. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm doing my master's in psychology. Oh. I want to work with kids, mainly foreign kids, and help them adjust. That's what I'm doing my thesis on. Curious. She's doing her thesis, folks. She's she's smart. She's, she's smart. She's, going, she's, she's going to her smart girl college. We're gonna use her smarts to find a van. Yeah. Imagine dragons. Find a van and penetrate the 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 superverse or whatever. The soyverse. 
The Soyverse. <laughs> what was... the fuck are we doing? <laughs> We're going home to check the internet. Oh. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh. Let me okay, we're going on. We're on the computer. Here we go. Hmm. Time to go online. Oh God, are these fucking are these side quests? No, I don't think. Oh shit, maybe they are. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, that sucks. I mean, um, it looks like we're not gonna help any of these people. Oh, ew, ew. Ghost in a floppy disk, strange behavior in my roommate. I lost my brother. That sucks. I'm oh, not gonna help. That's you. crazy. I have to find a van. Oh, I'm gonna yick. This guy says, yo, search for some porno. What do you think I am? Some kind of fucking sicko? You think I'm some kind of sick fuck? This is a Christian stream, alright? You can go on the Pornhub. Have fun finding your 7 million deleted videos. Oh. You pig. So where to? Well, we gotta go to Windtown. We gotta get Rory. I like how it was in brackets. Don't forget Rory. Is this the guy to employ you? Suicidal prick. A stupid blonde twink. I'm gonna kill his ass. I'm gonna kill that cracker. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck him up. Why did they delete all those videos? Because they did not want to get sued. That's why. Mm. Rory, are you alive? Who is it? It's Alex and the gang. More like Chandra and the gang. You think you're that important, don't you? Mm-hmm. It's Chandra and the gang. We're gonna go check out some of the leads on that <laughs> weird van. You wanna come just with getting us? getting bodied. Uh, yeah, I'm down. Just let me get dressed. Let me get undressed. Why did the game make us talk to everybody? I don't know. He had to go talk to Rory. So I don't know. Why I get it just, like... Why didn't it cut to a scene where we're all together? Why, why do I need to find everyone? Because the game does not respect your time. That's a fucking so where to? dumb. Where to? Let's go to Las Vegas. We're going to Vegas. Game is Vegas. Most paints are toxic. Let's go to Las Vegas. Oh my god, there it is. Holy crap! Isn't that it? I can't believe it. We actually found it. The first step is to calm down. Let's all get around the van. Vila, don't tell the black woman to calm down. Let's be ready to fight since we don't know what's inside. You're being sassy. Mm. I don't want to sound like a wuss, but why are we doing this again? Because we have to save the android! <laughs> okay! Good enough. Why is he yelling, man? What the fuck is that? What is that? Whoa, what the fuck is that? What are those kids doing with this mysterious van? Doesn't anyone else find this a little odd? What the I fuck was the that? Survivors are working with the mall rats. Oh, get it? They're literally rats? Uh. Don't be stupid. Oh. Something isn't right here. Okay, so those kids have the keys to the van. The only course of action is to track them down and ask them nicely for them. And when they say no, we kick their 12 year old god butts! Okay, sounds like a plan. Wait, can uh, anyone pick a lock here? <laughs> Yo, wouldn't, wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, <laughs> out of this ragtag band of um. misfit friends, the black guy could pick the lock? <laughs> <laughs> And 
Don't pretend you didn't think it. Uh, I mean... <laughs> so to answer your racist ass question, I cannot pick a lock. <laughs> we didn't ask. I went through a Sherlock home phase and learned to pick basic locks. You know, antique oh, locks. Oh, Claudio, stop talking, bro. <laughs> If I had the right equipment, but definitely not a car lock. Okay, so you can't pick locks. So, just to clarify, you can't pick the lock. No. Probably not. We're wasting time. Let's go after <laughs> Oh my god, a rat stole my key. That was very funny. Mm, let me tell you something. That metatextual line was actually kind of more racist than if they had just said that the black guy can pick locks. Oh god. But it was funny. It was very funny. What the fuck is this music? Circus ass music. Piss. So are we gonna beat up some children? I, I believe we are going to beat up some kids. We're just gonna fucking kill some rats? Nice. Respect. We're yeah. Like what? Twenty-four years old, skateboarding in the mall and beating up children. Hell yeah, we're rebels. That's one of the best intros to a movie. Is Freddy got fingered. He's just fucking skateboarding through a mall for no reason. Yes. <laughs> look like a fucking dumbass. It's the best movie ever made. It is definitely one of the best movies ever made. I actually, the first time I watched it. It was in my dad. He had like one of those DVD cases, like those binders. Yeah. With a shitload of burned movies. And he had Sharpies on the burned CDs. But, uh, you know, it's like The Matrix, uh, The Departed, fucking, fucking Run, Lola, Run. And he, you know, just written in Sharpie. But one of them said Freddy got fingered. And I feel like for a split second, I thought my dad had a, like a molestation ring going on or something. <laughs> it was just very, it's a very upsetting title to see. Oh god. Where the fuck did these rats it. go? It changed my life. Jeez. Yeah. If you gave me the budget to make a movie, I'd probably make Freddy Got Fingered. I would too, yeah. That's like, that's probably a movie I would make. Like, what else would I do? You, you, you think I want to make, like, a real movie? No. I want to piss off everyone I know and love. I'm a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> I want to waste this money. I want to burn this money up and make you all regret your... The part, the part where he just destroys a house for no reason. <laughs> just to waste money. Yeah, and he, he just jerks off an elephant. <laughs> That's the ending of the movie. The, the fucking five million dollar movie. Where the fuck did they go? I don't know, dude. Strawberry. Yeah. I'd definitely make that movie. Either that or like a Todd Salons type movie. Oh, yeah, man. But I'll never make a movie. Because it's 2020. It's not 1995 where people like me would get uh, millions of dollars to piss away. It's 2020. I have an internet account. So I get to ruin my life. On the internet, twenty four seven. Oh God, where? They called him a hipster. Damn. Look, man. This is punishment. You have to listen to this clown music until you find the rats. Where the in purgatory? Where are the rats? You're uh, you're in hell. Welcome to hell, man. God. I did like a what character are you quiz and uh one of the one of the results was the Nazi from American History X, but not <laughs> Edward Norton, who was a kid. So the, the I think at the end of the movie he like fully becomes a Nazi. And that was like number three uh -oh. on the test. That was number three. Yeah. And I and number like thirteen was Neo. Yeah, from the Matrix. That's you. You're waking up yeah. the world. I think that one was right. I think I'm waking up. Damn. Uh, number two... No, number one was Jughead. I don't know why it was Jughead, but it was Jughead. It was Jughead. Number three was Peggy Olsen for Mad Men, which is a woman, so I'm not sure why that was there. 
a little bit confusing and and scary to me. <laughs> it, would, it would say I'm a woman from the 50s, but, uh, you know. What did they mean by that? Forward. I don't know. What did they mean by that? I'm Jughead and a woman from the 50s. Well, I'm going to have to tell my therapist about that. You might have to. What, what about Nughead? Instead of hamburgers, he loves weed. Um, <laughs> Discourse, Stu, you've been a regular in the chat for a long time, but I think maybe you should stop coming. Maybe you should hang your hat and uh, <laughs> see your farewells. Oh, Stu's cool. <sighs> I'm just kidding. No, I, no, I like Stu. <laughs> <laughs> chat, you might not believe it, but I pretty much remember a lot of your names. I just like making fun of you. And I talk in the Discord more than my two co-hosts. So, uh, it's you know, right that we like avoid it. Things. It's right. That way we don't end up, I don't know, hug boxing in it or whatever. Yeah. We appreciate the work you yeah, do. Yeah, I like the Discord. It's a bunch of autistic people. That's good. We have a it's good Discord. I can't go into the dis the, uh, the thingamajig. Yeah, they're not bad. They're a couple of good kids. Yeah, we got a good Discord. It's nice. You could do worse than that. But, uh, yeah, until you ban someone, or no, kick someone. I kicked the guy and everyone got mad at me. That kind of made me want to kick again. Yeah. It's like a vampire, you know. You suck blood, you want to keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. God, what the yeah, because a kick is disrespectful. It's like a slap in the face. But a ban, I can't go out. Where, where the fuck did. I think this game's like. Ugh. Hang on, I think the game bugged out. I think you're, you might be retarded. That might be it, yeah. I think that might be the primary issue here. That might be the issue is that I'm, I'm going, I'm uh, retarded. I think that might be a little problem. You're retarded and you're going insane. These things can happen at once. What if there were no mall rats and it was just uh, the real rats were uh, us playing this piece of shit game? Oh, we're in the rat race, folks. Maybe the real rats are uh, those clowns in Congress. Yeah. You ever think about that? You ever think about that, guys? The House of Parliament. Yeah, you ever think about that? Those, those fools, those jesters that we elect for government? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're the real rats. Some Anyways, little, little uh, bit of Discord's something. Discord's got a couple of good boys. Something to think about. But if any of you ever cross me again, I will, um, I will have words with you. I'll take you aside and I'll, I'll have words with you. I'll pull out my Remington rifle and we'll have words. No, I don't we'll want, I don't want pizza. I want the rats. You want pizza? No. Yeah, you want some pizza, man. No. What? This reminds me of Serb's favorite game, Dead Rising. It does. Serb's favorite uh, work simulator. If only we could work in this game. If only I could work in the mall. If only. Like bish bish. If only I could work in a mall. That would that would make my life. This guy says you have to interact with stuff to find them. Okay. We'll try that out. All right. Oh, you have to interact with stuff, really? Yeah, it's an interactive medium. It's called ludonarrative dissonance. That's a word I learned from a YouTuber um, called The Ideas Man, the video game Ideas Man. He released a 46 minute video on uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, and uh, he taught he told me that video games are an interactive medium. Yeah, he'll do that. I've heard yeah. about him. Yeah, he's a really smart guy. He's told me that in video games like Uncharted, you kill a lot of people, and that's actually kind of weird because they want you to think the main character's a good guy, but how? Could, but he kills a lot of people. And uh, I spend every second of my life watching videos by forty-year-old men analyzing video games, and I think part of me's dying, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Part of me is dying, but I'm all right. It's all right. I mean, a piece of me dies every day, so why not waste it on some some men, some educators? Ludonarrative dissonance is when um, the game doesn't let me have sex with the first Asian woman I see. Frankly, I just, it just doesn't make sense. 
Oh, there you are. It really doesn't make sense. Okay, no, I can't. Great. Okay. Can I can I go upstairs? Oh no, no, he's there. I thought he went up the escalator. Weird. Yeah, but he just warped to a hiding spot, I guess. Well, that was not clear. Why not waste your life on eight hour long videos about kids' movies? Um, I like doing that too, Kino Punch. I like watching uh, 10 hour documentaries on Hercules and why it's actually a kind of transsexual allegory. And then I, I watch that in the background while I, while, I, while I do my work. Oh yeah? And I think it really helps my brain. I think it makes me a smarter person. Damn. That's just how it be. Yeah, I don't think of. Oh, never mind. I've seen The Lion King. Other than that, I don't think I've seen a single Disney movie. Yeah. What? Any Disney movies? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Like Hercules, no. Uh, Princess ones, no. Iron Giant? Is that Disney? No. I don't. Shit. Is it? Fuck. Pixar doesn't count. I'm not counting Pixar. That's, that's bullshit. Finally. We did it. Why is she still in a run animation? What? Oh god, not this. Have you seen this before? Yeah, it's called These Little Brats Have Been Watching Too Much Goosebumps and Reading Too Much HP Lovecraft. Now they're racist. We don't have time for these stupid games. The darkness hasn't commanded you to do anything. Give us the keys to the van, and we can all walk away unscathed. You can go home. They just want to play Vampire the Masquerade with us, man. I don't see the big problem. Go back to being normal kids. Wow, fella. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. I'll ignore that one for now, Michael. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to beat up some twerp. We're hitting kids. Time to beat up some teenagers for vaguely irritating us and getting in our way. That's right. All right, what time to wait? What? Whoa, I like that design. Yeah, time to fucking curb stomp some teenagers because they won't let us touch a van or something. I don't even know the plot. I don't remember. I don't care to remember. Are you meant to lose this? Every time I watch this game, it makes my brain hurt. I literally, what are we doing? I completely forget. Why are we going in the van? What's happening? I don't know. Chad, this is a postmodern stream. A postmodern stream? Yeah. It's a second person experience because you're watching us play the game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of. We're trying to break new ground, do something different with the medium. Yeah, I gotta get Chandra in here. We ask the question. We ask the questions that uh, the media doesn't ask. We're transgressive. You're at the K-Zone. We're being transgressive. We're asking the real questions. We're real transgressive. No one else is asking. I'm transgressive. Oh. That's when you ask for estrogen at the doctor's office, but with a knife. <laughs> You start waving it around and getting really upset. Security guy has to take the elevator up, but it takes him like five minutes to get there, and you're already you're holding the doctor hostage because you need HRT and you need a bed because you just wanna you just wanna wear the pretty knee high socks and you can't because the doctor's withholding it. You're about to go cuckoo. Chat, this is what happens when Serb's not here. This is what we do. He can't rein me in. He can't rein you in. He's just going cuckoo. He can't put the saddle on me, dude. 
You can't do it. Oh, what? You can't hurt it? Because I don't want to be loud in my girlfriend's house. I can't do impressions. So, just... I'm resorting to stream of consciousness humor. That's just what you gotta do, man. Because impressions require that you be really loud and irritate your parents at the late hours of the night. And I can't do that here. That's all you gotta do. Trick shot! Ugh. Here at the K hole, we do things differently. So, I mean, how the hell do you imagine? How do you fight this thing? Um, fuck, dude, I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know how combat works. I, most of the time when I watch you guys play video games, I kind of don't. It's like I'm looking through the game, seeing into the real world, you know? Yeah, it's like in the Matrix when he's looking at the code. And the guy's like, dude, yeah, he, he's like red dress, uh, red dress woman, Asian, black guy. And he's like, what are you, it's just code. He's like, no, I, I'm seeing it. I'm like the opposite. Yeah. It's like a video display of real life. And I'm looking at it, I'm just like, one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero. Mm -hmm. I'm just very concerned for my well being because I can't identify reality. Did we hurt it? And that's the kind of guy I am. It's crazy, crazy loco. Crazy loco. Like my cousin Spider. Like my cousin Spider. Spider is my favorite recurring character on the stream. Yeah, I think that came from like a San Andreas. <laughs> it was, yeah. I think we were doing, it was like Latino Anthony Fantano or something. Something like that, yeah. Anthony, I can't even remember from some stupid bullshit. It all blends into one bit in my head. The the, the monolithic bit. The great bit the in the unibit. sky. <laughs> Holy shit, that health bar is really large. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. No, I don't know how to do the Bushido skill, so... Chat, this fight's gonna take the next three hours, so if you could just give us, uh, give us some time. Give here. us some bits. Some patience. And give us some bits and donations. Um, oh, she died. Maybe subscribe. If you don't mind subscribing, Rocky will have some cheeseburgers and smelling salts. Yeah, I will give you a cheeseburger. Yeah, and I'll, I'll take another uh, ounce of ketamine. I'll try to stop my heart with my mind. <laughs> just. Only if you subscribe, though. You ever done drugs where you have to, like, focus on not dying? And you just... Yeah, that happens to me with edibles. Yo. It's the worst, dude. It's the... What happens, I, I think I'm forgetting how to breathe. Yeah. Worst shit in the world. Yeah, and then because of ADHD, I start thinking, like... I've already had this thought. You already have that thought. Yeah. You already had that thought before that thought. And it's just, I go in one big loop and it keeps repeating. And I'm like, oh shit, dude, that's crazy. All these thoughts. Anyways, you don't know how to breathe. I forgot how to breathe. It's been 22 years. You don't know how to breathe. And then I start having a panic attack. Oh, God. <laughs> and that happens for about six hours. Oh, God. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. I love having a cool brain. It lets oh. me do good drugs. Having a cool brain, the best feeling in the world, man. Yeah, weed sucks. Weed I does mean, suck, weed man. I so much. Realizing that I had that I had like bad depersonalization for most of my life has been like kind of a weird thing. <laughs> like, oh, other people. Oh, for uh, the past like five years, I've not been here. I've been completely in space, just be realized to the nth degree. And weed I, makes that so much worse. It's oh, I didn't even realize it was a thing. I was like, oh, it's you're supposed to actually feel your emotions, not stop killing Vila. <laughs> Yeah, you're, yeah, you're not supposed to feel like a, like a simulacra of your emotions. Yeah, like you're... second person inquiry of your own your, your own brain. You're yeah, supposed to just experience it primally. Yeah. But uh, no man. Yeah, weed sucks. You smoke it and then you just get anxious and you get depersonalized and you're like, damn, this uh, this uh, this ain't no this good. Is, this sticky icky. This ain't it, man. I wish I had Percocets or Xanax. I wish I had a real man's drug. Yeah. Gotta get your boy into cat. They took my wisdom teeth out when I was in high school, like uh, sophomore year. And uh, the day after, it didn't hurt. But they gave me a, a bunch of 30 pills of Percocets. And I just took one Percocet every day. 
It was fucking amazing. Yeah? Yeah, I was completely, dude, like, my teeth were fine. Nothing hurt at all. I would just pop a Percocet, play GTA 4. God damn. It was, it was honestly one of the best periods of my life. An entire month of ecstasy. Damn. Sounds dope. Yeah, dude. A few months ago, I was like, I had a panic attack. Yeah. And uh, a manic episode. I was about to talk to my girlfriend. And I'm like, look, uh, look, girlfriend. Yeah. I think I'm going to buy uh, Xanax on the dark web. I think this is a good idea. And I think I was so manic that she was scared to say, no, it's a terrible idea. Yeah. So she just kind of went, um, whatever you think is best. And I just kept going, um, yeah, well, I think it's best if I buy, well, this, this, this dealer, he says this is Hulk Xanax. It's, green, it's big green Xanax. It's, and he has a five-star rating on the dark web. So yeah. I'll buy that in OD. And she just kept going, um, please don't. But, it, I mean, do whatever you think is right. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that sounds fun and not terrifying for your girlfriend. Yeah. And I thought I was going to be, become a girl for like a week. And I realized I, I don't want to be a woman. That's crazy. I just want to wear like wigs and look cool. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Like a rock star mentality. Yeah. One of those episodes, huh? Yeah, it sucked. That was, that was a bad month. And, uh... uh yeah, just hussy things. Thanks, Fred Durst. It's just hussy things up here. No, I went to the site. I like mean, I... when a boss fight lasts like an hour, you kind of have to get personal. Yeah, I mean, I went to the uh, I went to like a counselor and was like, yeah, I think I got OCD, and they're like, no, you've got something else. We're sending you to a psychiatrist. Wait. You don't have OCD? No. Nope. Got something else. Damn. Some other problem that puts your Brain out of whack with your body. <laughs> Diagnosed with being gay. Damn, he got you with that one. He definitely got you with that one. You should be fucking ashamed. Medical homosexuality. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, I'm sure the psychologist will definitely help you out and not just say uh, that you have uh, depression or something. Some worthless shit. Give know. you antidepressants and not talk to you like, ever again. No, man, therapy is useful. All those threads on Twitter. Yeah, man, I think we should have mandatory therapy. Um, everyone should have mandatory therapy. I think that'll really help. Um, if I talk to uh, a white woman about my problems for an hour, hey, uh, and she yeah. she tells me to drink more water and mm -hmm. think about things positively. Well, Fred Durst, if I play my cards right, I am going to get the cool drugs. I would like some cool drugs. Trick shot. Hey. I went to fucking two years of therapy. Did it do it anything? Help, but, no. It did help or uh, did it? Yeah. It did help. I mean, it, it depends on the type of guy you are. You have to get a good therapist. Mm. She was pretty good. But uh, even then, it's still bullshit. It's still like a very, uh, very fucked up profession. Mm-hmm. Especially when people think like, oh, it should be mandatory or something. That's not, I don't know, dude. Like, therapies, therapy definitely perpetuates existing power structures. I really don't think therapy is, any true therapy would kind of have to be revolutionary in a sense. Yeah. So we would have to acknowledge circumstantial issues. That's kind of where therapy fails. Because you're expected to go in there and kind of say, Hey, my life sucks, but uh, I guess it's all my fault because the economy doesn't exist, history doesn't exist, apparently, uh, and it's no one else's fault but my own. Yeah. That's what I find therapy to be. No, I just like, I went in and I was like, yeah, I've just kind of felt like numb and weird ever since I was like 13. She was like, hmm, well, there's implications to that, so we talked about it for a while. Uh, it's the results of uh, not been fun. Yeah, there's implications to that. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. Yeah, dude, I've had like seven psychiatric evaluations. Yeah, really? Have any of them been useful? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> huh. Actually, no. Uh, two have. 
the one where they said I had bipolar. That that kind of helped mm-hmm. because I started to realize why I was going insane. And the second one was ADHD. Oh, they yeah. gave me uh, Adderall. Other than that, every it's been entirely useless. Yeah, the therapy. Six times and uh, you fuck up five, four of the times. Terrible. Yeah, the therapist was just like, hmm, wow, your life became horrible since you hit puberty? Oh, weird. <laughs> Great. Yeah, ther- I pretty much like would tell the therapist that, hey, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I-, I sleep 20 hours a day, and then for four hours of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking going insane. I will go on the internet for four hours and, and look at things and hook an IV to my arm like a madman and shoot like that's okay yeah that's it just good. Like it's not good for you <laughs> you probably have regular depression no my depression is unique i want you to be i want you to be amazed at the depth of it that's kind of how it is when you're talking to a friend <laughs> Well, it kind of, I don't know, it sucks when they sit, because they're like, you have depression and anxiety, and it's like, okay. And then years later, like, you have bipolar, and I'm like, oh, that's, I, I guess that's why I would, I would look at people on the street and think, hey, I want to smash your face in with a brick for a few weeks, and then the other few weeks, I'd kind of be like, cool, life is great. Yeah. Yeah, but doctors are weird like that. Oh, uh, yeah. One is a homo, the other's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a normal guy. I'm pretty normal. I'm I just a... talk weird. Yeah. Trick shot! Huh. Win. Damn, this fight's still going. Yeah, but we're having a heart to heart, you know? Yeah, we're having a real, real heart-to-heart, real bud-to-bud conversation. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I don't know. The issue with therapy is, like, you go in, and uh, they don't want to circumstantially acknowledge any socioeconomic circum... Oh, shit, I already said circumstantial. Fuck, I'm tired. They don't want to acknowledge any socioeconomic circumstances ever. Like, they really hate that. Yeah. They want to address you in a vacuum. That's, like, impossible. People always exist relative to their circumstances. Mm-hmm. You know? Exactly. All right, here we go. Anyways, we did it. <sighs> okay, guys, please just relax. Let me know how this all happened. When did you first meet the soul survivor? Uh, many days ago? The great spirit being dropped his keys. He picked them up, and ever since... I've been doing his bidding! Doing his bidding? The soul survivors aren't some Saturday morning cartoon villains. They wouldn't ask you to help them with some evil plan. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you just picked up the keys and carried them around pretending to be its evil minions. Okay, you can go. You just beat up some children and they were turning into a fucking weird monster. Why would the soul we got what we wanted. be driving around an android? What the hell is going on here? Let's go to the van. Maybe once we open it up, we can find some clues. Mm. Oh, God. Walking back to the van, I started to question my <laughs> Alex! Why was I so convinced finding this android was such a good thing? Why was I putting myself in danger like this? A lot of times, I felt like I was an airplane circling the landing strip waiting for clearance. Waiting for a purpose. Looking for Building 7. Maybe I was an Alex android. <sighs> <laughs> Still not right. Maybe I was a fag. Does this guy not realize that he just wants pussy? No. Master of creation. Smooth. It's all he wants. Oh my god. Curves and a perfectly sculpted face that reminded me of one of the anime girls on Claudia's shirt. Um. What do you see? Hail to the king, king, baby. Oh, I'm gonna hot glue that plastic figure. In- I'm gonna fuck the robot. I'm so fucked up. Only wants to bust. Oh god, I'm gonna yick! Going to the soy dimension. Oh, I'm going into her robot vagina. (laughs) Going head for- I'm unbirthing myself (laughs) into the soyverse. Hello, Alex. That's a pretty visual. I must thank you for coming to retrieve me. What's happening? I imagine you are wondering who I am. 
Why I know your name and where we are going, I think it is necessary that I first introduce myself. I am the Ascension 2000. I am an android, made from two-part epoxy resin and melamine. My consciousness is natural, but my physical form is man-made. I exist in all reality simultaneously, and can account for all parallel versions of my soul. Now, for the question that is burning away at you the most. How do I know your name? You and I have met time and time again. We are soulmates, in the true sense of the word. This is the part where you say, I've never met you before. And then silently, <laughs> except in my dreams. <laughs> That's funny. Fair. She's fucking mocking him. Many months ago, you had the pleasure of making the acquaintance of a Miss Sunny Park. Sunny had begun the process of leaving her physical form behind. When you met her, she had already made up her mind to leave her body and enter into the place between places. The soul space. You disrupted her transition. Shortly after, you witnessed two soul survivors taking her away. Those two entities were that two-thirds of her soul that had transitioned. Two injured parts that hadn't begun to heal. Now you are thinking, How can you possibly know all this? I was there. I am Semi. And Semi is me. I'm an Asian lady. When one soul leaves a reality, Another can freely enter. I am the only her. requirement necessary is having some relation to the departing soul. Whether it's being a parallel version of the departing, or having an emotional connection to the departing. When Semi left your reality, I entered. Before that, this physical form was destroyed, captured, and held prisoner by the two entities that you just defeated in combat. Ever since then, I had tried to return. But as my physical form still held trace amounts of my consciousness, I had to wait until Semi, this reality's version of me, died or escaped into the soul space. Upon her voyage into the void, I entered and I followed you home. What the fuck is happening? For weeks, as I gained my strength, finally, I was able to appear to you. And guide you to the radio tower. Oh, so that's what that ghost thing oh, was. She was black the guy. black she ghost. Was, uh, so that I could speak with you. Yeah, because we did that bit. Yeah. What did that was record have to do with my physical form? I'm glad to see you are keeping up with all of my robotic exposition. Oh, very good. I am the Ascension 2000. Get I'm it? It's bad on purpose. I am Oda Kreitzer. Alice Albert. Sonia Yamama. I am Bella Wild. Bella Himura. And many more. <laughs> but I do not she's mean Bella? To that oh. I go by all of these names and that I happen to share the name of two women in your life. I am explicitly saying that I am them and they are me. You're going to have to explain how this is all possible. First, I will begin with the dreams you had of me. As a spirit, we are not restrained by physical barriers. However, without a body, it is impossible to astral project. When you slept, I was able to enter inside of your vessel. Uh -huh. I use it to launch my spiritual form out into the world to seek my physical body. I am sorry that I violated you in such a way. <laughs> this is the only way for me to find my body and make physical body. That consciousness. fucking phrasing. By now, you are aware of the soul space, the location where each I am sorry that I raped you. <laughs> each universe has a set number of souls. Adjacent to your reality. Oh man, is this is real exposition. Oh, this is exposition. In one reality, I am Sonia Yamama, a Palestinian girl on the run from financial trouble. What? In another, I am Bella Wild, a talented musician whose only setback is the pressure I put on myself. In all realities, I am the Essentia 2000, a pan-dimensional android made of plastic, created so that I can better understand myself in all of my realities. Okay. I'm going, going out of the pussy now. <laughs> We are being birthed. Oh no! Did the game? Did the game fucking no, freeze? Dude. Oh no, we're good. We're, we're good. Oh, I thought it broke. Jesus. Ah! Whoa! The perfect time to hot glue it. <laughs> Whoa! I am sorry I had to take you away from your friends like that. Please bear with me as I take you on a tour of my parallel life. Um. Where exactly are we going? We are going into a very dangerous place. 
Oh, <laughs> this will be the stopping point once we get to our next save. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I am not prepared. Why do you feel that I need to understand the nature of reality? That, Alex, is something I have to show, not tell. Whoa, uh, really? That would be the first said, time. They said the thing. They said the thing. Oh, we're going back into the pussy. Oh, we just got bored. Going in the mouth pussy. Yeah, I think this is near the end of the game. Are we? Shit. That's what Discourse 2 is saying. I came to exist six years ago, in the winter of 1993. In 1993, I only knew myself to be Nyla Elanin. Whoa. I was a physicist who became fascinated by the metaphysical results of my experiments. After receiving terrible news, I became increasingly depressed. In this period of struggle, I began to become aware of the space in between spaces, the soul space. I longed to leave my reality and explore the various facets of existence I had just discovered. This looks but cool. Body, this does. And I was going to die. I feared separation from my own body, so I created the Ascension 2000. Except it wasn't that me, Nyla el -Amin, who brought the plastic me into existence. I was weak. And my completion of the Ascension 2000 was many months off. But then, something incredible happened. I came to be, through the intellect of another me, a Vladimir Tassar. In that reality, I was a Russian woman with similar goals. Sounds the severe sorrow and physical fatigue. Okay, so they are just telling me now. As the Ascension 2000, I explored the soul space and became aware of all the different versions of myself. The Ascension 2000, the Ascension 1999, and the yet-to-be-created Ascension 2890. So you mean to say that Villa and Sammy share the same soul, but they are not hey, the same Hey, fucking person. idiot, we've been over this. God yes. damn, this guy is so stupid. We have the capacity to be anything that we'd like to be, more often than not. We get to be the thing we least want to be. I want to be. If you join me now, I'd like to take you on a journey. A journey so that you can better know Sammy, Bella, Nyla, and the other versions of myself. In doing so, I think you may learn something that you so desperately need to know. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a body boy. <laughs> You're a homosexual, Alex. Oh, thank God. All right. This, this is saying we're we're near the end. Uh, fish, you head Sue. This will be this will be a cliffhanger, guys. Good night, gamers. Uh, youtubecom slash friendzone is where this is going. If you missed the previous parts, go back and watch them, because that's where they'll be. YouTube.com slash friendzone. Yeah, check them out. out, everybody. Check them out, folks. Check them out, gamers. It was a pleasure to be here. If you're new here, subscribe or hit the, hit the follow button. Yick in hell, gamers. See you later, gamers. Yick in hell, bitch. Oh, God, I'm gonna yick.